What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another stream. Guys, today we are going to be doing exactly what I was planning on doing. I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. So yesterday we finished all the restaurants, we did the last mini game that we could do as Harka, and... Today we're gonna be drinking alcohol and trying to kick as much ass as possible to gain some levels. And from that point on, we'll see if we can like um, continue the story a little bit, depending on how much time it takes. Ow. So uh, we gotta gain some levels. Gotta take some damage here and there. Gotta go buy some and some. Uh, stop being drunk, shit. All up, bitch. No, I need to run to the. Pawn shop and empty my bag. Then we're gonna run to the drugstore and fill our bag with shit. Irashai. I mean, we got some platinum, which is kind of nice, I guess. It's already 500. We also need to go do some fishing later on, but we'll do that after drinking all the booze. Um, doesn't really matter which way we go. Because I need to go to the thingy thing. I also, wait, can we also buy it over here? Because that would save my ass a lot of time. Uh, we also need to go to two uh, foodies at Vatami and then a few more foodies at the other one. Okay, no, nothing here. Nothing here that is of use. That guy saw me from fucking far away. Yakuza. This. Nice, 30k yen. Oh, I also need to deliver the pictures to you. Which is an R20k. Oh, 
んどいてくださいごめんなさい Okay. Uh, let me buy five, six Epstims. I forgot to buy the anti alcohol shizer. Enemies, nice. Okay, take. I think three should empty my bar. You don't say my thing. I got up. You don't say my thing. I got up. Arigatou gozaimasu! Style bar is easiest done because that one is right directly over to the thingy. Or I can buy my anti alcohol. You do shy, my sin. Yeah, figured. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This one doesn't really matter. So a lot of alcoholic beverages, yo. What's it called again? Hobby? Oh wait, no no no, um... Nah, fuck it, I only need to drink anyway. Let me show you to your table. Nothing on the food. Gonna run to the other shop real quick. Do that one. Hoping that the people that I need to find get spawned in. Feel like getting drunk. May I take your order? For, so we're beating this guy up for a little bit of damage. Since he's here anyways. Ah. 
enough. I'm plates, souls for garbage. Yoshimase, Cherry Oki Honoka. Suhari Fugetsu. Talk dirty to me. Dirty to me. Thank you very much. Nope. <laughs> 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 ありがとうございましたセッピーン What's up? We need Kusa Yoro Kuso Yoro commands we need a lot more commands than just that one. But I've been too lazy. How the money situation goes on this character? I don't know. Decently, I guess. This one is not as urgent as any of the others said. They're just as urgent as all the others. Did I by chance already talk to them? Is that why I can't find them? I don't think so. I can't imagine better way to greet my favorite streamer differently than telling him he likes to have romantical encounters with females that are proven to be fertile. 
Yeah, you told me you're gonna grind money. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. I would because I had a platinum plate, I decided to be like, uh, okay, we'll do the alcohol first and then we go do grinding for money. You're the shy machine. Arigatou gozaimashita. Arigatou gozaimashita. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Oh, 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 oh. Sep had home office today. Nice. Feeling. Ten billion million trillion times better than after regular workday. <laughs> I truly d dislike humans. I can understand that. hasn't appeared yet after I use all the ape stims then we're just gonna leave and do alcohol Zep is making noise on Instagram Allow me to take you to your table. My hands are frozen. Ice cold. Okay, are they here? <laughs> Screw the one gossip then. Yura Shai Masen, Gojo G Sama. I made a bean lord and it's fucking tasty, nice. Glad to hear, Sep. Glad to hear. I made lunch too late in the day, so I wasn't hungry anymore. Before the stream, so... 
I'm gonna order food on a different night. May I take your order, please? I also made perfect soft boiled eggs today, nice. Sep is having a nice day working from home. Oh. Who's yelling at me? I can tell. Sep is Giga Chat Cook. Sep, you're no Sanji. Oh, wait, I actually have to be hungry for this one? Oh, you cocksuckers. Feels like a waste. Sunji, but I like using my fists more than my legs. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Also, I do smoke, true. That is uh, definitely true. But you don't have swirly eyebrows or blonde hair. I used to fall in love in an instant, so yeah. Another platinum plate. Don't mind if I do. That saves me a lot of um, pain and suffering. <laughs> They're parts of his Vin Smoke heritage, so they don't count. <laughs> Hair, eyebrows, and stuff. Fine, I'll let it slide. on the rocks. Okay, one more drink. And then we're drunk. I wonder if we can keep drinking, even if we're drunk in this establishment. We'll see in a few moments, I guess. Yes, 
Sakura Tree Fizz. Tree Fizz. Step up, ding dong. I shouldn't. I'm seeing double as is. No! No! Arigato gozaimashita. This nullifies one. I think it's four, right? To get completely undrunk. Yeah. From red, we need four legendary Ryukuku. Ryukoko. Let me show you to your table. Can I get you something to drink? The Kaku Highball, thank you very much. And no food, thank you very much. The Moscow Mule. Damn, bro. Three drinks to get wasted, four items to get unwasted. Gin and tonic. Arigato gozaimashita. It's an entire bottle. Jesus. Alcohol drinking was way easier in the previous games. At least I only needed like one item, or maybe two. But it was also so that I could only take one drink. Cassis Orange. Can I start you off with something to drink? Damn, again, starting all the way at orange. You're killing me, mate. You're killing me. Uh, 
honestly, it might actually be better to just use one and then grab yes, one drink it. because you can't get multiple drinks in one row anyways. Because then you use one item per drink anyways. Oh, this one isn't too bad. You're already coming up with strategi strategies to do the restaurants. I miss Kiwami, where you could learn a skill or equipment that allows you to eat as much as you like. There's a save point over there. So let me buy out the store again. Put some in the save point because I'm not gonna go walk all the way down and all the way back up purely for the legendary drinker thingy. So I'm gonna stack up on some. Since it's closer by to save point. Put two stacks away. So we got like. Well, if I'm gonna do it like that, anyways, I better just count, right? Completion list, foods and drinks. Um. Need to see what the other bar is called. This bar, crest bar, crest bar. Food and drink. Style bar is 16 and we have 14. I already did two, okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Um, we haven't actually entered crest bar yet, fuck. So I don't know if fine, I'll just put 20 away and then go grab another bag and do first bar style because I don't need a full bag. Bastard, give me something uh, expensive. Tar in our maximum, that's kind of disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. completely before we enter the other bar Not this one but 
in here. Lizzie! I... No, I'm not waiting. Screw you, uh, screaming person. Oh, this is gonna cost me a lot of money. There for another round, sir. Hell yeah, bro. Okay, no, I'm drunk. Ooh, I can still go for another round. How is your day today, Lizzie? Sir, I think you've had enough. You might want to take it easy. Screw you, mate! I'm here for the alcohol. You better believe it. Sir, I think you might have had enough. I'm just wrecking my liver with all this alcohol. This is a lot faster than the restaurants, though. Not having to enter and exit the entire time. Sir, I think you might have had enough. Babu? You don't know that. I will never have enough. VSOP. Yeah, that's the last one. That is oh, cafe style done. Oh, you was allowing me to drink another one? <sighs> Couldn't you have done that before? Watch out, it's a drunk man! ラララダンタンタラン。いらっしゃいませ。だ。ありがとうございます。ラララダンタンタンタンタン。いらっしゃいませ。ラララダンタンタンタンタン。ありがとうございます。ラララダンタンタンタンタン。Do you like Nico, Nico. 
Nico, 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 Kiki, Kiki. I can hear them shouting, but I can never see them. Oh, here. Oh, Nisa! Kundohan! <laughs> my new move. Open up the entire T of the lockers. Bronze plate. Lucky tile. Iron plates. Toughness infinity. To infinity and beyond! An army knife. Toughness ZZ. Silver plate. Another silver plate. Another lucky tile. Leech gloves. A steel tonfang. Okay, I'm back. So many boxes, yeah. High win rate token. Ooh, for the slot machines. Okay. Jet black jacket. Another silver plate. Super alloy pipe. Jordi, why are you stealing? I'm not stealing, I found these locker keys on the ground. That pretty much equals in me owning the key now and everything that's within it. At least as long as it's in a game, because don't see me actually uh, finding locker keys in real life and then just opening the locker key and like, ha! Huh. Bitch. I'm way too nice for that. Matul Batul. Hey, I got a squid. Don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Lizzie, do you know what I'm supposed to do with a squid? Protective amulet.
Patriarch's Driver. Flimsy, but extremely powerful. I win raid token. Super resilient resin. Stun gun. Bust amulet. Zero jewel. These are all my gambling cheat items. Chan stone, I don't know what that is. Give up piece? This piece is rumored to make your opponent give up in shogi. Oh, nice. Spatula blade. I was wondering if they were ever gonna give me cheat items for uh, shogi. Steel mail. Steel tonfa, again. That's the second one. Gentleman's umbrella. Bronze plate. Stamina Royal. Auto token. The rumor to allow automatic play on swap machines. Oh yeah, that's something that they um, said. Stamina and spark. Wooden Kali sticks. Fireproof shirt. It's fireproof, so it won't burn. Assassin's spear. I pay out token. Chunk of wood ash. I win rate token. Pocket tissues. Well, that's a waste. You never know when these might come in handy. Uh, never. Hyper turmeric. What the fuck is that? This supplement sobers you up instantly. Oh, nice. Wish I could buy more of those. An auto token. Okay, that cleans out Sotenbori's thingy. Who's shouting at me this time? Oh, screw him. Okay, time to go into Do You Like Alcohol? Let's see how many drinks this place has. Welcome or not, your unfamiliar face. Sorry, but we only cater to members. Color me disappointed. Uh, we got 535. We got some things to sell, which could give us more money. Uh, I want to have enough to do at least one mill, so I guess we're gonna go and catch some fish. Then we're gonna do karaoke, and then we're gonna do the hostess. Oh, 
you like that, bitch? Come, bitch, to Kurusai. Step the prices. Leech gloves. I'll grab this later. I already got the leech glove from somewhere. Oh, I didn't realize I could buy abstains from this place as well. Fuck my life. Okay, Kalobu sandwich times 20. Okay, let's give it a try. As if I haven't been fishing all this time yet. Bass. The base, the base, the base. Wondering if this is actually gonna work during this day, uh, time period of day. Day period time. Bob Leaf. Under my umbrella, Ella, A, A, A. Fringe. Guess I gotta reset it. But who? Seriously, game? Always the same shit, bro. Serious? It's just so lame that I also lose my bait then.
luck isn't by my side today. Yesterday we had more luck. Okay, haha, at least it's fully filled now. Nice, that's one. That and the ghost koi is what we're fishing for. It's just a regular coin. Still better than nothing. Congratulations, you caught a Gobi. New record. Okay. <laughs> I don't fucking know what that was. Must have caught it before at some point. That's number two. I uh, gotta exit and enter again. We're outside the pink. We are outside the pink. -u. Well, that is. Lame. already 250 plus plus the 250 of that one platinum plate another go beam go beam so we're technically already on one mil but anything that is more is good Umbrella. Damn. Kusoyado. Four more sandwiches to go. Ah. 
Another koi! Koi konareyo! Ikuyo! Storya! Storya! Shit, that one dove quick. Carp. Ikuyo! Storya! Give me one... Why is that tune so different on that one? Okay, we're stopping here. I'm not gonna exit and enter again. <laughs> I'm too lazy for just one more fishing attempt. I feel like we've done a pretty good job, so... Let's go and uh, collect our earnings. I'm here to sell. Gobies are only 50. Cringe. Platinum plates, three silver, two bronze, one iron. Well, it puts us almost on one mil. It's more than enough, right? I think we have enough to get through the hostess thingy. Uh, let's see, the hostess thingy is over there. Other way. I'd like to go to a cabaret club. There's always Prime, of course. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Prime is in Show Fukucho. The it's the premier club in Soto Boring. Lead the way, my friend. Very well, sir. Please give me one moment while I check in with the club. Kudabu. Hello, this is Nakamoto from Infomen. I have a gentleman here who wish to visit your establishment. Is now a good time? Alright, thank you very much. Follow me. Alright, if you will please follow me. Business slow today? No, this is pretty typical. With New Year's Eve right around the corner, normal bars are more likely to be packed. Have you ever been to Prime? Yes, let me think. Oh, right, there's a girl there named Honoka, who's pretty good. Honoka-chan, huh? Yes, sir. Like most of the girls in town, she's a real energetic go-getter. And she talks an awful lot. So you'll never be bored. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of girl. She is known to exaggerate at times, but don't worry about every little detail, she says. You are fine, so long as you can say something interesting. Sounds complicated, but okay. Her blood type is AB, she's a vigor, and she's 21 years old. Just feed her some pork skewers and it'll be A-OK. -okay. I said, oh, you'll know when you see her. Got it. You'll know when you see her? What the fuck kind of response is that? <sighs> it is as good a time as any. Hello, welcome to Prime. Our establishment has a minimum of blah blah blue blue peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly. Oh, look out. Hello there. Yeah, we're obviously uh, not gonna read out her dialogue. Oh, wait, I've been reading out their dialogue all the time. Yeah, I take it back for reading out the dialogue. Here, this is my business card. Honoka-chan. What's your name, sir? 
Shun Akiyama. It's a pleasure to meet you, Akiyama-san. Likewise. What will it be? We want the gacha drink. Of course we're gonna try our luck. There's an item hidden in here that we need. Wonder what we'll get! Plus it always boosts the fucking heart, so that's good. You won Stamina Spark. Hey, that ain't too bad. Anyone ever tell you you've got a nice voice, Akiyama-san? Sometimes. Though honestly, I'm not too sure of that myself. When I hear my voice in a recording, I just think about how weird it sounds. I hear that. I remember being really upset when I first heard my own voice. I want to be a newscaster, you know? A newscaster? Whoa, you've chosen a pretty tough career path. I'm going to school and taking lessons, but my accent has given me a lot of trouble. Aww. What's wrong with an accent? Regional dialects can be problematic, but most people can handle Kansai, Ben. No way! There ain't no newscaster who reads broadcast news in a regional dialect. And even comedians on variety programs use their dialect when hosting their shows. Uh, what about Kansai TV stations? What about TV stations Kansai? I'm sure there must be plenty of big new networks here in Osaka, where having an accent wouldn't be an issue. Yeah, but I want to work for a national network. So you want to get a broadcasting job in Tokyo? Yeah, that's why I'm gonna fix my accent. I see. From what I've heard from you, you're not trying to hide the accent much. Your Kansai Ben is pretty thick. You make, you have to make a point to use the standard Japanese accent daily. You're right. If I'm reading text, it's fine, but I talk faster than I think, so most of the time it's Kansai Ben that winds up coming out of my mouth. You're at least aware of the issue. Now you need to work on it. You need to try to think with the standard dialect while you're speaking. Okay, I'm gonna do my best. It's going to be a long road ahead of you. Uh, let's see. Do something. Choose a subject to talk over, sure. Uh, good subject is... <sighs> so many foreigners. Hey, is it just me or are there a lot of foreigners here in Osaka? It's not just you. Apparently Osaka has the most foreigners anywhere in Japan. Well, I'll be. Never had the impression before coming here, so I'm pretty surprised. Never... I've really thought about it myself, but now that you mention it, I do get a lot of foreign customers. Some of the girls on staff are from aboard too. Whoa. Outgoing folks who will make friends with anyone, so maybe it's easy for foreigners to settle down. Um. I see. That's pretty different. People in Tokyo don't care that much for strangers and make outsiders feel unwelcome. People from Tokyo may as well be foreigners as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Why is that? For starters, I usually don't understand what they're saying anyways. <laughs> well then... Does that mean you don't really understand what I'm saying? Hmm. I get maybe like half of it. No way! <laughs> You Osakans listen just enough to latch onto the interesting bits of what you're saying. Forget the rest. But I'm the kind of guy who goes out of his way to explain things, so I'm kind of shocked. 
Did you come to Osaka for work, Akiyama-san? That's the first one, right? Normal topics. No, this is not the normal one. Did you come to Osaka for work? What the frick? Uh. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I'm not paying enough attention. Sorry. Yeah, I was thinking about opening an office here, so I've been hitting up Sotobori a lot. <laughs> really now? I bet you're super rich. Who knows? I do all right. Never stop to think about just how much I have. Say what now? That's something rich people would say. I hope I'll get to say that sort of thing someday. What do you usually do, Onika? Me? I'm going to school right now. I'm in my third year of college. Nothing like the typical girl who goes to college in Tokyo. You're much more of a go-getter, whereas they're more re reserved. Reversed, reserved. The Osaka girls are renowned for our cheerful disposition. All the girls in Tokyo got going for him is their looks. You can say that again. I won a prize in a beauty contest at college. I'll have you know. Whoa. That's amazing! <laughs> Ain't it just? I'm the number one girl in this club and outside of it. The prize? The place that you get. I asked him for details and didn't give. I'm not supposed to go there. Yeah. It's just that usually someone would say they won the grand prize or whatever. Fine. I got third place. That's still impressive. Shouldn't worry about admitting that. Yeah, but when I mentioned entering a beauty contest, the other girls got all snide saying stuff like, Oh, so you think you're cute, huh? <laughs> I bet they're all laughing at me behind my back now. Yeah. Let them talk. The people who voted for you still thought you were the best, right? I never thought about that... Uh, never thought about it that way. <laughs> you sure know how to butter a girl up, Akiyama-san. Damn. Hey, it wasn't mere flattery. It wasn't? Uh, are we gonna continue? I think we're good here, right? We'll leave here, we're over the line, so I don't have to actually waste and have to get into more dialogue. Uh. Just to save myself a little bit of time. Because this should just put us up to E tier rank. Okay, before we actually continue this, I'm gonna go do some karaoke, because I know there are a few songs left to do with Akiyama. Thanks for dropping by the club today, I had a blast. How long are you in Osaka for? I want to talk some more if we can, so come back and say hi sometime. Make sure to stop by before I go back to Osaka. Uh, Tokyo, I mean. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Sting alone! Perry Okan. Singu. See, two songs that I can do. Passionate backup. I'm too lazy to actually bring the girls out for dates completely, so we're not gonna- Holy shit, what the hell are those dolts? Let's 
chance to the top. You don't need skrills for completion here. Nope. We just need to sing the songs. Thankfully. Look at me fucking kicking this song's ass into next oblivion. Empty. Okay, next song. So much more. I can't believe I missed those two notes before. Damn, bro. Still 200, 200, 190. <laughs> Slapping everyone like it's nobody's business. You carry home, see, to carry home. <laughs>
Uh, let me see. Mini games. Harry Oki. Just needs loneliness loop because I have you and that's it, I guess. Yeah, one secret one that you can miss if you don't play as Haruka. Or if you don't do something during the story, I mean. Establishment, blah blah blue bloom. Or usual again, Akiyama-san. We don't really have um, anything to improve that. Sumimasen! Kampai! Kampai! Wonder what we'll get. Give me something nice. French cologne. Oh. You look sleepy. Were you up all last night? Oh, sorry about that. I wasn't up all night, but I didn't sleep all that much. I was gonna kill time in the manga cafe while I waited for the morning train, but I fell asleep and had to go right to class and then... Here to work. <laughs> Stop whining. Yeah. At least got a nap in, right? Newscasters wake up early and work late for broadcasts, so lack of sleep is part of the job. I hear you. I'm probably just sleepy because I'm low in energy. I'll try to kick it up. <laughs> well, don't overexert yourself. I know why you're working so hard at school, but why are you pushing your hostess work so hard too? Are you that strapped for cash? Yeah, you can never have too much money when you're aiming to be a newscaster. I gotta pay for newscaster school tuition, and I gotta buy all my own clothes and makeup too. Looks are important for ladies in broadcasting. Very true. Very true, guess female newscasters can't live the life of a poor, starving student. Yeah. And since I don't have a target amount I'm saving up for, I can just work a quick stint and quit. You don't need to quit. There's nothing bad about having money, and you're better off making money while you can. So, you know, if I get hired by a company in Tokyo, my commute is gonna cost me an arm and a leg, so I gotta save up even more. Right, I gotta hit the pavement a little harder. This money is gonna take me places. <laughs> You're definitely not lacking in enthusiasm. Something at least. Uh, not flirty topics, change the subject. Streets of Sotenbori. I really like the cityscape of Sotenbori. There's something nice about having a river run right through the middle of the city. Really now? It's just a dirty old river. <laughs> that's not that's not my point. Yeah. <laughs> it makes the city feel alive. Places that have pristine water are in the mountain wilderness, with no urban life to speak of. Well, I suppose so. <laughs> the river looks just the way it should for the Great Pleasure District in Kansai. This may just be me, but I find things more convenient without the river. Having to only cross at the bridges is kind of a big pain. Can you say that? That's one of the big symbols of the city. If you want symbols, we've got plenty of big old goalies glowing signs. They do stand out. That strength of self-assertiveness is part of the Osaka vibe. So yeah, though, nobody knows how to catch your attention like the shops of Osaka. 
I could learn from them. How about a cabaret club you can spot from 100 meters away? That would be the talk of the town. Good idea, and you could have a sign to show who the number one girl of the month was. The number one girl of the month, a month, that's the fucking Kansai district uh, dialect, I guess. Like, check out this girl right here. <laughs> Well, that's a great idea. I'm going to use that. Just make sure you pay me in royalties. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain. What's your blood type, Akiyama-san? My blood type? I'd rather not say. Huh? How come? Because you seem like the kind of girl that'll come into some blood type comp a compatibility spiel if I do. <laughs> Are you afraid we're not compatible? Basically. Keep my blood type secret in order to avoid any weird preconceptions in my relationships. Oh, So that's the kind of guy you are. <laughs> I think you've got your blood type all figured out then, nani? What's your blood type? Ebida! Personality does that indicate? They say we come across as real prodigy prodigies and that we're prone to to split personalities. Split personalities? Okay, whatever. Also, when we're introverts, have trouble expressing our feelings or handling criticism, and can be really cold, but I don't know nothing about that. Ah, you're nothing like that. You're trying to tell me you're an introvert? Hmm, I guess I'm really not, huh? I've been thinking this much. It's a problem with personality assessments. It's all in your head. No, it ain't. In my experience, people fit their type dead on. And the same goes for me. Alright. I have to look further into my compatibility with type AB girls. Oh, you sneak! I still don't know what blood type you are, Akiyama-san, <laughs> even if you did. How would you know I was even telling the truth? You don't even... you don't need to know. Well, then I wasn't telling the truth either. <laughs> oh, really, no. Smooth. Oh, shit. Okay, we're doing the flirty one then. That's fine. Flirty topics. Frequent flyer. So I've been thinking that this for a while now, but you must go to cabaret clubs pretty often, don't you? I guess. I like to go out drinking, and it's not nearly as fun to go drinking by myself. <laughs> Never packed you for a lonely guy. Well... I'm a man who's fond of company. I spend a big part of my life alone, so I suppose it's only natural that I'd want to be around people. Well, I can keep you company then. <laughs> Thanks, I'd like that. You just seem really used to this sort of thing. You're not nervous at all, you know? How come you're able to talk so naturally? What do you mean? You seem to be natural yourself, Honoka-chan. Honoka-chan. I'm not good at that sort of thing. When I'm with someone I like, I call him right up. I barely even make eye contact with him. Oh, clam, not calm. That's so sweet and innocent. <laughs> it's nothing like the way you usually act. Naya. <laughs> Kansai dialect. Lovely. Can't help it, I get super nervous and I wind up sweating from my palms and stuff. When I avert my eyes, they think I'm mad and I blow the whole thing by saying something strange. I always mess things up. Hmm. How about now? So how about now? Right now I'm fine, what do you ask? No real reason. Akiyama-san, you're wondering if I might like you, aren't you? 
He figured me out. <laughs> Am I wrong? Sorry, but when it's me and you, I just feel super relaxed. I see. <sighs> Disappointed. Uh, no, we're leaving. Akiyama-san! It's the normal topics, D rank topics. <laughs> Whoosh. And we're going back in. Do I grab snacks? There's not really anything else that I can wear. I know that they literally put that in there, that if you have like the affinity boosting with the girls uh, outfit, that they like uh, say something about it. But you sh in this case, there's no way you're having this this early. This, that, Pipu Papa. Toughness Infinity. What's the matter, sleepy again? Nah, it's just school stuff. My teacher got all super critical on me. What did he say? No matter how hard I try, I can't fix my accent. At this rate, I'm never going to be able to become a newscaster in Tokyo. Hmm... Let me hear you. I'll be able to point out anything I hear that sounds off. Eh? What? You can't just put me on the spot like that. There ain't no way I can just up and do it. There's no way? I promise to be honest. Huh. You came to me looking for help with this, right? Okay. Thanks, Sakiyama-san. Alright, listen up. さくや大阪総天堀の飲食店で東京から来たという男が酒に酔って女性従業員に無理やりキスをした疑いで逮捕されました。男は警察の取り調べに対し酒に酔っていたため覚えていないと供述しており容疑を否認しているもようです。どう
<laughs> That's true. Oh. My mistake. I'm glad you finally understand. Older ladies here in Osaka can be pretty darn scary. A younger girl like me could never hold her own against one of them. Scary in what sense? They wear this garish leopard, leopard print and talk real loud. They can't stand. They can't stand being shown up. Being shown up and they never want to admit they're wrong. That is scary. Mm. Even I have to muster up the courage to strike up a conversation with them. Aren't you happier getting to talk to a cute and ladylike girl instead? Should you be saying something? <laughs> Should you be saying that about yourself? Man, I'm starving. You hungry? Want me to order you something? Not exactly. Fatty foods? Like, I'm hungry for something fatty. I'm all about the fat. <laughs> ah, so that's what you meant. What specifically do you want to eat? Kushikatsu. Kushikatsu sounds great. They sure do. <laughs> Dang, now I want some too. You like those too, Akiyama-san? I like chicken karag too. I could gorge myself on some of uh, that right now. Fatty foods make you fat. <laughs> Will make you gain weight. Wouldn't it be better to eat something else? And make sure to eat properly. Stuff like takoyaki and okonomiyaki. Okay. Uh, sounds good. Note. Hmm. Okay. There's so much here that sounds delicious. Ain't that the truth? I just spend a ton on food. Mm. Not for me. I'm a real foodie. I'm looking forward to being treated by you, Akiyama-san. <laughs> Whoa, how did we end up there? Okay, uh, leave. Home. Going into the C rank. Uh. Look at my money getting down the drain. Okay, next is normal topic four. There might be a good idea to do the place where comedians gather. But I don't really think that's necessary, right? So far, so good. And back in we go! Welcome to Prime! Did you come to see me? I gotta wonder if you might be falling for me. <laughs> After this girl, it's just two more girls to go. I like to get to know the girls, but it just takes too long. Just not as fun, I guess. So I've got my first corporate hiring test coming up. Whoa. Their company's already starting up employment exams. Those keep getting earlier. This is the first one aimed for a place out in Tokyo, though. It's for a station here in Osaka. So this is the kind of backup for you. I guess it'll be good for helping you get used to the interview process. If only it were that easy. What do you mean? I'm still no good with my Tokyo accent, so I can fill this one since I might have a better chance of getting a job here in Osaka. 
So I can't fill this one since I might have a better chance of getting a job here in Osaka. Stay calm. If you go into it with that the attitude that it's okay if you fail, you won't be ner as nervous. And you'll be able to show your true potential. <laughs> Don't I wish I could? I doubt my interviewers are gonna be as understanding as you are, Akiyama-san. Yeah. Everyone's nervous. Just do what you can to prepare beforehand. No. Yeah, I guess you're right there. But there's another thing I've been fretting about no, lately. Oh, what's that? No, no. I'm thinking maybe I should forget the whole Tokyo accent thing and focus all my time on getting hired here in Osaka. Mm, are you backing down? Hi, hi. So not... I ain't even. Yes. No, may maybe you're right. I think you might hit the nail right on the head, and so I lashed out. Sorry for snapping at you. Mm. Why the lack of confidence? Hi, hi. If you don't go into this process thinking that you're going to pass, then you're never going to. You're right. I wasn't thinking straight. Thanks for giving me a cack, a cack, a kick in the pants, Akiyama-san. I'm gonna get a job at the National Network for sure. Uh, there's the Honoka-chan I know. Uh, do something. Her likes. What sort of thing do you like, Honoka-chan? I'm kind of curious. What do you mean? Gifts? What would you like most right now? That's an easy one. Cold, hard, cash. I mean, if someone were to give you a present. Then I'd want it to be money. <laughs> right, but if you did get money, what would you buy with it? Then it'd be like you've gotten that present in the first place. Nah, it ain't that. If I got money, the fun part is figuring out what to buy with it. When I want something, I like the satisfaction of being able to buy it myself. Getting it from someone else just doesn't give me that same mm. feeling. I see your reasoning, sure. But what would you like to go buy right now if you could? Eh? Oh, that's a secret. <laughs> oh, come on. No, no. Aki Say, Akiyama-san, do you like stand-up comedy? Uh, this is for normal. I do. Huh. I catch lots of it while watching late night TV. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. You knew it. You knew it. Akiyama-san. Well, you're fun to talk to, and you're. A snappy conversion conversational Jesus Christ, Jordi. So I figure you had to be a fan of stand up comedy. That's some unusual reasoning right there. Is it? In comedy fans the kind of people who are good at talking and listening to folks? Folks who aren't good at talking just ramble on without a point and interrupt the conversation whenever. They're the worst. Fair point. Not a problem. I guess good conversationalists structure their thoughts for timing and delivery the way comedians do when telling jokes. So, so. See, you do get me. So, so. How about you? I bet you like stand-up, right? Do you go see live performances? So, so. Of course. DVD and I buy DVDs and stuff too. <laughs> Whoa, you're really into it. Why are you such a big fan? <laughs> Why? Because it's funny. Alright. <laughs> I suppose that's straightforward enough, though it's not really a reason. Besides, does laughing make you feel good? Watching stand-up makes me happy. I think the comedians are really amazing. I feel the same with you. Talking to you always brings a smile to my face. You mean it? That's so sweet of you to say. When you get down to it, comedians and hostesses are both trying to make people smile. Yeah, I bet a comedian who worked nightlife business would be an instant hit. And scouting a girl like that's not a bad idea. Uh, do something. Leave. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving, bitch! Uh. 
Yoshi on the guy. I will call and ask you to Ia Iwao Bridge. You walk and talk. Akiyama-san. Akiyama-san. Today was really fun. Okay, time to wait for Quest Pop. What level is Akiyama right now? Uh, only level six, Jesus. Iwao Bridge is this one, right? Oh no, it's Bishamun. Iwao is this one. Let's see if we can find some people to beat the living shit out of. I say no to calling people. Ooh, another platinum plate. Don't fucking mind if I do, bro. Essence of comeback. Alpha dive, drive. Oi, Matteo! I haven't done this one yet. Killer kick combo! Nice. That is a killer kick combo, if you ask me. Try and break my guard, bro. Not by grab, never mind. I'll test it out on someone else. That can actually break my guard. Ooh, and a bronze plate. Bronze plate is only 1k. Okay, so we're heading into B next, then it's A and then it's S. It's not too long. We're almost done. Money, 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 money. Na, 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 na. Do you, do you, do you think it's funny? Na, na, na. Isn't it honey already? Yes, it is. So why do you keep singing money? Because I'm a dummy dum dum dum. Is that a good enough reason? Maybe. Wait, is that a rich guy or is that just a host? I think it's just a host. Is that?
Come on, Stinky. This guy's grabbed too often. Hey there, Akiyama-san. It's Honoka. Oh, Honoka-chan, what is it? Do you have time right now? Wanna go on a date with me? Whoa, would you look at that? I'm free now. Invitation from you takes top priority. <laughs> well, don't skip out on your work now. I'll wait for you at Iwao Bridge. I'll be right there. Ayaku Akiyama-san! Screw you, bitch! I have better things to do. Crap baskets. No, no, go away! I'm really gonna have to kick your ass first. Screw you. Time to take a dive. Uh, they already summoned some of their friends? That was fucking fast. Hey, Akiyama-san. Sorry to keep you waiting. I've really been wanting to see him. I want to chat with you some more. Mind if we go wander around for a bit? Not at all. Let's get going. Let's get going. I've been visiting Osaka for work for some time now, but I'm still not used to the city. Really? No. Yeah, I'll crash at my office overnight, and uh, when I stumble outside half asleep in the morning, the signage wake me right up. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Around my house, there's nothing but other houses. It's super boring. I stay overnight at my office in Tokyo often, so I've really never had the opportunity to live in a quiet, residential neighborhood. That ain't good. No matter how busy you are, if you don't try to get back home, you're just gonna wind up becoming a workaholic. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I know it's not a good habit, but I haven't really developed an attachment to home. Why not? I figure a guy like you should be able to drop the cash to buy a house or two. Actually, I was homeless, homeless at one point in my life. Whoa, for real? Yeah, so I know that you don't need a home to live. There are more important things in life. Whoa, that's some deep stuff. Maybe my own perspective perspective on life would change if I gave living like that a shot, without a doubt. I wouldn't recommend it for a girl, though. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it for anyone. <laughs> what the fuck are you on about, bro? You must be the only two here who came to Sotombori on a date. I don't think so. I've seen plenty of couples since we showed up. Are they take just tourists? Or maybe clients out with a hostess? This ain't a place folks usually come to on a date. Oh, really? As a tourist spot, it's the heart of Osaka, but other than being a place to eat till you drop, ain't much else going on here. There are more fashionable places to shop, and if you're gonna go out to an arcade or karaoke, there are other places for that too. Hmm. As long as I'm with you! I don't care as long as I'm huh? with you. What? Where'd that come from all of a sudden? Have fun just by being with you. I don't care where we go, even if it's not some popular date spot. Actually, prefer going to some little hole in the wall with you. Just the two of us. <laughs> hey, knock it off. You're making me blush. I always see you in noisy places like this, so I'm curious to see what you're like when you're in a different environment. <laughs> Aw, I'm the same no matter where I go. If you keep saying weird stuff, I might start getting mad at you. Hee <laughs> hee. Hee hee.
The view is really terrific here. I can see why the people of Osaka love this uh -huh. river. Don't you think it's a remarkable civilization and nature existing side by side like this? The river has seen the whole city grow around it. What are you talking about? This is a man-made canal. It's a natural river. No way! That's what the whole the Bori and Southern Bori means. Some guy built it a hundred years ago. Ah, okay. Nani? The fuck? <laughs> but anyhow, I heard they cultivate pearls here in order to keep the water clean. Apparently the shellfish purify the water. Maybe you could dive in and fetch me a pearl. Whoa, they really planned out every detail in making this river, didn't they? Interesting fact. <laughs> Today was super fun, Akiyama-san. I'm much obliged to you. Same to you. I had a great time. Never would have expected you to invite me out on a date. Did I inconvenience you? No, in the least. I blew off work and came running to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hey, are you okay? It's your fault, Akiyama-san. You're saying weird things. Make sure you get your work done. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm gonna head home now. See ya. Mm. That is uh, something we need to keep an eye out on, that cough there. Especially since she wants to be uh, do something with her voice. Spam. I've been getting a lot of spam from online dating sites lately. Some days. There are over a hundred. It's crazy! I want to emo you sooner, but it took so long to delete all that junk. Sorry about that. Who the hell is behind this crap? Yeah, I don't know. They keep sending me porn sites as well to my uh, fucking uh, hot mail. I don't know what to do with that. Actually, it was me. <laughs> Been waiting for you. Let's say nice things. Okay, back to the club. Kuzo! Kuzo Yaro! いらっしゃいませ。いらっしゃいませ。秋山さん、待っとったで。秋山さん。いつも。Thanks again for coming. You're welcome, Honoka. Just for you. Always wearing the usual. Yes, champagne tower. It's a fucking waste of money. Kampai. Italian woman watch. Amazing. That's super rare. Can you get me one too? Really? Guess I shouldn't give it away. So, I was just at the, sem the seminar, and boy, am I super tired. Nani. A job hunting seminar? Bingo. More like a study session. An actual newscaster came to offer some, offer us some training. 
including some interview testing. It's indispensable stuff for folks wanting to become newscasters. It was super popular, but somehow I managed to nab a spot in the final session. I didn't know they had that thing. I didn't know they had things like that. I... English is hard today. Was it a good experience for you? Well... Did it go well? <laughs> of course it did. How could you tell? By looking at your face, you've been grinning ear to ear this whole time. Aww, F I? I'm just in a pretty good mood is all, so hopefully you can let it slide. I don't mind it in the least. Anyways, in the seminar, if they think you got the chomps, they can let you move on to a higher level. And I managed to make the cut. Well, how about that? Guess that shows you what having enough confidence in yourself can do. Yep. If I hadn't made the cut... I was ready to give up on things, so I'm super relieved. The person who told me about the seminar is from Osaka too, and they said they could tell I'd been working on my pronunciations. Don't rest on your laurels. All you've done so far is get yourself on equal footing with people from Tokyo. The real struggle starts from here. Yeah, that's right. I've been so focused on my accent training that I might have let some of my fundamentals slip. I'll have to work on those fundamentals before the next seminar comes up. Much obliged for helping me out with stuff, Akiyama-san. Hey, it's fun for me to watch you make progress. Is it? Is it? Ask a question. What are your hobbies? Arosa. What are your hobbies, Honokachan? Hobbies? Lately I've been into people watching. Watching, huh? I've met girls who are into that sort of thing. What do you enjoy about it? Then I gotta kill time waiting on friends or something. I look around and watch other folks waiting and guessing what kind of person they are. That does sound fun. Are you ever right? I think it's more fun if I ain't right. <laughs> Meaning what exactly? Like, if some cute girl's waiting, I usually imagine she's waiting for a hot guy. And then some ugly dude will show up and I'll be like, what the heck? <laughs> if I mismatch, it's like that real fun. <laughs> I bet that scenario happens in reverse too. Yep. Then I talk to my friends about how he's gotta be paying her and that he's probably going to jail. <laughs> If the person you're waiting for shows up, maybe you should be on your way. My big brother is coming home for New Year's. I haven't seen him in forever, so I'm really looking forward to it. He must be very close. Maybe I'm a bit too close. When he moved away from home, I was in tears trying to hold him back so he wouldn't go. <laughs> I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> Wish you would fawn over me like that, Onoka-chan. <laughs> Maybe I ought to burst into tears and try to hold you back from leaving too, Akiyama-san. To force me to get an extension? <laughs> Bingo! I'm gonna sob all over you if you don't want to ask for an extension. <laughs> That puts me in something of a bind. <laughs> Though, actually, I'm, I'm kind of scared about seeing my brother. Scared? Why? Because it's been so long? Well, uh, he's actually bringing his girlfriend home with him. That isn't good. Why the fuck is that not good? Isn't good. That must make you feel weird, not knowing how to act around her. That's exactly it. Can be rude, because it'll upset my brother, so I'll have to force myself to smile and act all cheerful. Uh, try and accept it. You're going to have to, sooner or later. I guess I just gotta suck it up. Hey, I'll just tell my other brother he can't go getting a girlfriend of his own. <laughs> oh, you've got two older brothers? <laughs> hmm. 
Okay, do something. Leave. Yeah, we're not getting an extension. Fuck that shit. You're already ready for the next. Uh, the next check. We're already at rank A. You come back soon now. Hello, welcome to Prime. Our establishment has an blah 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 blue blue blue. I've been waiting for you, Akiyama-san. The usual again, Akiyama-san. Duh! Sumimansen! Kanpai! Kanpai! Okay, let's see what we're gonna get. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it rich? Is it shite? <coughs> French cologne. Sage. Lizzie. Um, hey, Akiyama-san? Yeah? Hiring exams for new casters are finally starting. Oh, wow. This has been a long time coming. I'm in the final stretch. What should I do? Do what you've been doing. Um, you got some good momentum, so don't do anything odd that could throw your rhythm off. It's not gonna do me any good if I wind up getting all hasty at this point. I'll stick with my usual training. That'd be for the best. Come to think of it, my throat ain't feeling so good lately. Maybe I got a cold? That wouldn't be good. Do you have a fever? I don't think so. And I'm not coughing. Maybe my voice is just shot from talking too much. Some hot tea ought to make it better. That's a relief. It'd be terrible for you to get sick at this stage of the game. It's so busy! Yeah, I, I realize, Lizzie, that it's busy. You've all, you just pop in and then leave. It's Ash Wednesday? Wednesday? Ash Wednesday? What the fuck is that? I hope it's just a joke. I wouldn't be funny if there were actually something wrong with your throat. Yeah, I guess I should be more careful. I'll try not to push myself too hard. Yeah, that's not too not a bad idea. Lol. Phone. Uh, we're gonna ask question about her thoughts on romance. I'm curious about what your thoughts on romance. I'm curious about what your thoughts are on romance. I just skip a fucking word in the sentence. Are you okay, Yordi? Mind if I ask you some things? What sort of things did you have in mind? How many guys have you dated? Your ideal date, getting delusioned with a man. What would your ideal date be? A trip to an amusement park. Oh, except going with a guy would be a pain, so on second thought, maybe not. <laughs> what do you mean? Why going with a guy is a pain? Guys are always yammering on about what the right what rides to go on next. I prefer to take a seat on the bench and drink in the atmosphere for a bit. That sounds like way more fun than actually going on the rides, not gonna lie. <laughs> I hate rides. See, I suppose as men are fans of the roller coasters and other thrill rides. Shut the fuck up, Akiyama. I don't like roller coasters, okay? Sitting on a Ferris wheel, just looking at stuff is boring. See? It'd be better if I went with a girl. So it's the start of Lent. <laughs> That's what it means. Ah, okay. I guess. Okay. 40 days till Easter. Oh, damn, bro. 40 days? Someone's in a good mood. What's up? What's up, girl? Good. I went shopping earlier today and managed to get my stuff for half off. <gasps> Nicely done. Not meat Fridays. No meat Fridays or today. 
Wait, what? So there is no meat today and Friday? I, I don't get it. Is that a thing? Ugh, religion. It's not my thing either. <laughs> Nicely done. Was there some kind of trick to it? Mm. Kept saying stuff like, man, I'd buy this if it costs only this much. Or, hey, I'll buy this if you throw it in this other thing for free. Mm. Lol. Uh, we're all the way to four, Jesus. I see. Not over the And full of Fridays. I see, you've got a good handle on human psychology that makes you good at haggling. Right? We Osaka girls are sharp punch. You always haggle when you go shopping. Just buying something is no fun. You get a sense of accomplishment if you haggle. <laughs> you must really enjoy it. Um, so Fridays for 40 days. Basically, he made her spend more money. No, oh, I'm confused, Lizzie. Nah, you gotta do it the other way around. The other way around. You gotta make nice with them before they give you better prices, so they'll think you're sweet and deserve a discount. Yikes. Women aren't so triff... Woman... Wit... Women aren't to be trifled with, I see. Yeah, she said he threw in more stuff if she bought more. No, 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 no. She said, if I, I'll buy this if you throw in that. That's what she said for free. So she's haggling about me, sure. Ask me whatever you want. That's not what she said. That is what she said. Hmm, your weakness, your favorite part of your body, your strengths. Let's go for funsies. What's your favorite part of your body? I'm really proud of my hair. Look here, Yordi. Lizzie, I'm sitting here reading it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's just so sheer and silky. I could probably be in a shampoo commercial. Whoa, kind of want to feel it now. It's all styled up with hair gel, so I don't know if touching it would give you the right idea. People who get to touch my real hair are only those I spent my personal time with. We both know you can't read. That's not true. Completely. Man, now I'm jealous. Akiyama sante. I bet you got a good eye for ladies. You strike me as a guy who only dates women of a real high caliber. <laughs> not as discouraging as you. <laughs> I'm not that old this discur I'm not all that discouraging. Is your oven open? Yes it is. As long as someone is interesting, then fine by me. Uh what I'm not paying attention. Lizzie, you're distracting me. <laughs> Simple enough. What about other things though? Like looks or money? I'm just talking about folks who've got a good head on their shoulders. So they pay attention to their looks and have a job already. They're proper adults. That's fair enough. Most unsophisticated people are pretty much hopeless and boring. Right? So if I'm going to date a guy, he's for sure got to be interesting. Compatibility is a big thing for me. Like in stand-up company, you need a funny man and a straight man. Otherwise, it ain't going to do well. Which one are you? I'm the straight man, which means I want to pair up with a funny guy. I'm a funny man, that's true. Akiyama is a funny man. Say I'm a funny guy. At least that's what people always whisper behind my back. No, you ain't. You're a total straight man. <laughs> mm 
busted. Now make your joke. Hi. You're really good at tripping people up. It almost feels a little unfair. Ooh. Comedy is a gift. It never works if you ain't compatible with someone. You're suited to being a straight man, Akiyama-san. <laughs> well, that's too bad. Leave him! Akiyama-san! Akiyama-san! You come back soon now. <laughs> Will do. Okay, time for the quest. Probably not gonna get the phone call instantly. You probably leave your bathroom open door door open too. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Cause I don't have much space to actually hang my clothing, so I always hang clothing over doors. But um I'm going to take a little break, at least with the recording, grab some snacks and drink and BRB. And we're back. Okay, so what do I got to do again? Run circles, wait for a phone call. No, I don't want a fuck. Somewhere with high density of population. Except just wants to haunt fucking uh, an entire fucking city. Like Beijing. <laughs> Basically, like Beijing. It's just a very large city from atop the rooftops. So that he can haunt people and that that city becomes like unlivable because Sep is everywhere. Something like that. <laughs> Let me sleep. I honestly wouldn't even know, like, what to believe that happens after death, right? So I'm like, you know what, just throw me somewhere into the sea and we'll see what happens next. I hope there is a god, and that I can kick him in the nuts, if he has any nuts. If he even is a he. I just want to hurt god. Because he's a dick. He created us. At least give me the pleasure of kicking him in the nuts. Hello. Uh, no peace in life. No peace in death, except he's going hard, yeah. I feel like my body went through so much pain IRL. Why do I gotta suffer? More more my burning. <laughs> True, Akiyama. Hello? Uh, uh, Honoka-chan? Is that you? I can hardly hear you. Hello? It's no use. Guess she got poor signal. Can I already get the thing that I need? Probably not. There's a high chance I'm gonna be suffering anyways. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna go to heaven if there is a fucking heaven. I'm gonna end up in hell. I mean, I don't have a soul anyways. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> I lost my voice. The doctor took a uh, look at me, but my throat doesn't hurt or look swollen, so they have no clue what's going, what's wrong. I got some medicine to take, but it isn't working so far. At this rate, I won't be able to take the hiring test, and it's coming up fast. What's her voice? Is that what the phone call was about? So there was something wrong with her throat after all. Respond to her via email for now. I'll figure something out. Don't you worry. Okay, what do I do? I suppose I could, should look for pharmacy. Welcome. This girl I know has trouble with her throat. I'm wondering if you have any medicine that could help. What are her symptoms? She has no pain or swelling, but she lost her voice. I see. She's got a job interview coming up. She needs to get her voice back and fast. Hmm. Is there a cure-all that might work for something like that? Let me think. 
Even the doctors she saw said they couldn't help, so I guess there isn't a quick fix. But still, if you know anything... Wait a second, maybe just maybe there is something. Wait, really? What is it? It's something I heard in a rumor, so I can vouch for it. That'll do. Let's hear it. You know how Sotenbori has always been home to a lot of entertainers? Apparently it's not uncommon for these entertainers to lose their voice before they climb on stage. They say there's legendary Lozinch, I don't fucking know what that, how to pronounce that, that instantly restores voices like magic. Legendary Lozinch? Lozinch? Do you have any idea where I could find it? I wouldn't know. That said, since it's not sold in stores, one might imagine you would need to look on the shady side of things. How shady are you talking? Well, Ashitaba Park for one. You can always find shady people loitering around there. Alright, Ashitaba Park, yeah? Rumor says you says you can't just walk up to anyone and buy it. It's legendary after all. Seems only a chosen few can actually get their hands on it. That's all I know. Sorry, I can't be more give more help. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, that's great, thanks. You gave me enough to get started. Legendary blah blah, huh? Guess I'm head to Ashitaba Park. Welcome back, Lizzie. Sorry about everything. Got nothing to worry about, girl. I'm sexy and I know it. Sakura Onichan! Fuck you. He's a bastard. What did I miss? Ugh, your B. There's no chill for Lizzie today. Welcome back. <laughs> Tasty. No. Pack you want. There's something I'm looking for, and I thought someone here at the park might be able to help me out. In the world that you're looking for. I don't know nothing about that. Something he won't just hand it over what I want. Maybe there's a clue I can find. Hey, hey you. You looking for something? Yeah, just some medicine. Someone I know has some throat issues. You should hit up the pharmacy if you want to get something to clear that up. I really tried, but I couldn't get what I wanted. That's why I'm looking around like this. You ain't gonna find no medicine lying around here, I know. But I thought maybe it wouldn't be so far-fetched for someone who deals in that sort of thing to be around here. <laughs> well, all we got on us is the stuff we're selling. 
Now what's that? The thing you're looking for, that's medicine. You sure about that? If all you want is to get better, you should see a doctor or buy medicine. But I'm guessing that ain't <clears throat> all you're after. Ain't you after something else? And ain't that the reason why you want to get better? Absolutely right. She's sick right now, but getting better isn't the only thing that matters. This is all about making her dreams come true. If that doesn't happen, then curing her sickness won't mean a thing. See ya. Now, do you see what you're really after? I think I do. It's not medicine that I need after all. Been a huge help, thanks. I should go talk to the guy again. Maybe now I can buy that legendary blah blah off him. No. I'm looking for... I thought someone here at the park might be able to help me out. Sell me a dream. No. What kind of dream? There's a girl who wants to be a newscaster. She worked day and night to fix her Kansai accent, and now her voice is shot right before the test. Well, now it sounds rough. Heard there's some legendary Lozen J E Lula Buba could help her. Do you uh. have any? I do indeed. Really? Please, you have to give it to me. You got cash on you? Everything you got on you? What? Hey, you want to low, don't you? You gotta make the girl's dream come true. All right. I'll give you all the money I have. You serious? Why are you sticking your neck out like that? This girl got that much talent? I want to see her achieve her dreams. That's all there is to it. Whether she got the talent for it or not, I don't know. So her dreams are worth your investment? No, I don't think so. You can't assign a monetary value to a dream. A million, ten billion yen. No matter how much you throw at your dreams, you'll never reach them because dreams have limitless values. If this makes her dream come true, then I don't care if you take all my money. It's that simple. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't met a guy like you in a long time. I've been running the scam job, hoping to meet a man like you, okay? Whether it's a sore throat or a scandal. When performers wind up in trouble, they find out how much money their talent agency is willing to spend on them. To the agency, the talent is their meal ticket. If it ain't worth their investment, they'll drop her. They don't care if the talent succeeds. Well, that's a crew business world for you. Yeah, but sometimes someone's worth the investment, regardless of the bottom line. There's just something about them. Your expectations for this girl come from you seeing some kind of unique spark in her, I bet. Guess that's one way to put it. Here's the legendary thing. Take it. If she sucks on this and gets a bit of rest, her voice will be right as rain. Really? Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Here, let me get you your money. Forget the money. What? I want to see how far you are willing to go for this dream. Now that I know, I'm all good. <laughs> you. Thank you so much. Don't thank me. I'll just watch with you to see if this dream comes true. Now go on. Hurry up and get that medicine to her. Alright. Should shoot Honoka chan an email. Hey, I got you some medicine. I'm sure it will make you better. <laughs> it really worked. My voice is back. Thank goodness. But you better not talk yet. You need to rest up for a while. I'm sure you'll be back to normal. I'm trying to say something. What is it? Let's go have some nasty sex in a hotel nearby. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Since just resting is boring, I'd like you to stay here with me while I'm sucking on this... While I'm sucking on this dot 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 Akiyama-san. And since I want to keep practicing my Tokyo accent, I'd like you to talk to me the entire time. Sure, talk. Talking, that's what we want. Is this now? Not bad, right? You can hang out and help me vocal pr my vocal practice. <laughs> Guess I'd better. You just leave it to Nurse Akiyama. Yes, I will be nursing you back to health. Okay. Enough fun. See, we just came out of a hotel. 
again. I owe you a big time, Makiyama son. You seem much better now. Guess that really was some legendary. Uh, I really don't know how to pronounce that. Lozenge? 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 I've never read that word in my entire life. I've never seen that word. Your voice is back to normal. It was surprisingly super sweet. I kind of want another one. <laughs> hey now, that was a one-time deal. I really am quite a busy guy. <laughs> Aww, why well, you gotta be the a wet blanket? Wait, weren't we talking about the medicine or are we talking about something else here? <laughs> hey, there's not much time before the test. You need to hurry and get ready. Nice. Yeah. Akiyama-san, I love ya! Oh, sweet. Sweet dreams are made of thingies. Who am I to disagree? <clears throat> nice. Two more to go! Wait. Oh, it's not complete yet because I need to do the last dialogue thingy, I guess. Fuck. Welcome to Prime. Our establishment has jingle bells. Jingle balls, jingle balls. I'm waiting for you, Akiyama san. Today is gonna be a lot of fun. Is it? Gotcha drink. <clears throat> Subimasen. Come Hey, platinum membership card. That's what we were looking for. You hit the jackpot. Makes sense, man. Like you would have good luck. Hm, not bad. Sadly, I can't give it to anyone else. I Really sorry about the other day, Akiyama-san. Is your troll doing better? Yeah, thanks to you. So how did things go? Uh, it didn't go so well. Don't feel bad. At least just start your job search. Use this failure to do better next time. Yeah, next time I'll nail it for sure. My top choice is a big name station in Tokyo. If I landed a job there, I can see you whenever. <laughs> That's right. And when that time comes, your Kanzai exit will be all but gone. I'm gonna be speaking with a Tokyo accent when I'm on air. With you, I'm gonna be just a girl, my usual self. That's a relief. Uh, question. TMI! What are your measure measurements, girl? Wondering something. What is it? Uh, what do you wear in bed? Usually I just wear a t-shirt. You see? It doesn't turn a lot in my sleep, so sometimes when I wake up, my shirt comes off. One time I heard the doorbell ring and just as I was about to open the door I freaked out because I realized I had no shirt on. <laughs> that must wake you up real quick. I'm real good at tongue twisters. I don't mess up or nothing. Tongue twisters? Tongue twisters. Haggle power. Noise. Noise. Hanukkah, okay. Let me hear one. Okay, but just a quickie. I, I always have time for a quickie. I mean, what? 
<laughs> Obviously, we're skipping that. If one froggy hopty hops twice, then three froggy hopty hops six times. Oh, yeah. How's that? Impressive. <laughs> You really do want to be a newscaster, don't you? Sure do. Working real hard for it. Keep it up. Someday all that hard work is bound to pay off. <laughs> Keep the praise coming. That sort of feedback helps me improve. In that case, the next time you think you've improved, be sure to show me. And if you have, I'll be sure to throw more praise your way. Okay, next time I'll be able to rattle off that sort of thing even more smoothly. <laughs> Look forward to it. Uh, let's ask another question. Uh, about herself. There are multiple answers that you can do. Your strengths. Consider your strengths to be. My strengths? I guess I'm always smiling. A lot of folks tell me my smile is so natural that I don't gotta fake it for work or nothing. When I see your smile, it has an infectious quality that makes me feel better. This kinda sucks because when I'm mad, people think I'm still smiling. Well, you do kinda get that sense when you look at her face. That's good, good animated. Well done, good job, developers. It really gets my goat when I'm ticked off and no one seems to take me seriously. I guess the smiling face has its ups and downs, huh? I get bored of stuff real easy, you know. Is that so? I can see that. You're kind of impatient. Same goes with romance. It can be real smitten with someone, but if I find something I don't like, it kills the vibe right quick. What's wrong with that? That sudden feeling you get can be what you're really after. Maybe if you tried to tough it out, you'd feel even worse when you found the next thing you didn't like. And when you finally run out of patience, you split up. You're pretty calculating, Akiyama-san. But I agree, forcing yourself to deal with that sort of thing isn't for me. It's better to find yourself someone new, Pronto. Yeah, just ditch him. Just throw him out the window. <laughs> At least if you're easily smitten, you'll find someone new soon. It's like falling in love all year long. Yeah, just a little while ago I shot my friend an email saying I'd found someone real good. Now, should you be telling a customer this? Well, I mean, I did the same thing the first time you came and saw me too. Hmm, thank you. No idea you felt that way about me. Deep down, I was all sort of excited when you first came to the club. You were the bomb! What do you think about me now? Eh? Eh? Oh, that's a secret. Tell me. Secret's a secret. Okay. So, so. Guys who second guess what a girl is thinking are cheese balls. A man ought to be way more secure in his demeanor. <laughs> are you sure about that? Akiyama-san. You come back soon now. <laughs> will do. And they will never see me again. With this card, you'll get 30% off the cover charge at the Hostess Club. It's like a dream come true for Hostess fans. Only 30%? Jeez, that's weak. Akiyama-san. <clears throat> Akiyama-san, you really helped me out. I got my voice back, so I could have called. So I could have called you, but I thought I'd stick to email for now. If I pass, I'll be sure to call you up and tell you. Wish me luck. You're a real sweetheart. 
Where are the nudes when you need... I mean, what? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Okay, uh... That's everything. We've literally done everything that I can do right now. We can't go into the other cafe yet, or, uh... Bar? Until a little bit later in the story, though, which is kind of sad. Well, at least most of the trouble-ish shit is done. So... No, go away. to figure out what a good way is to get to get them to go flying with Akiyama. Hey, time to continue the story! Sleep until the evening. Already. Mosh Moshi. Akiyama san desu ka? Saamura desu. Yeah. Nani ka atta no? Soro soro, Horie san ga kaisatsu kara modotte kuru koro da to omon desu kedo. But he won't answer. Oh. Hmm. Nani ka mondai demo atta no kana? Sore ga wakara nakute. Dakara, Daina cha e yousu o mini iko to omon desu. Sore. Didn't really want to go alone. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Okay. Okay. We're first gonna do the training though, that unlocks in a bit. And ten sub stories for Akiyama. Or eleven. So we're gonna do that first, I guess. Honestly, I could wait. To my international friends! Hello, my friends all over the world. I have a request for you today. Lately, I haven't been able to take any perfect pictures. Blah, 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 blue. It's not the wrong guy, but... You know... Um, did I have the revelations open? I know that Akiyama actually only has... Yeah, Akiyama is probably... We're gonna unlock the weapon revelations with Akiyama once we get to Kamarucho. With, um, in the final, I guess. 
But the re cutscene revelation should be doable. So are they? No, they're not here yet. Do I bring... I do have some items. Let me bring a little bit more if I have... I didn't actually buy any. Bring this one, bring that one, bring these just in case. Can't really escape this one. Push it to the limit. Is that guy alright? Maybe. Somebody should call an ambulance. Hmm? What's going on here? <laughs> Whoa, man. Down. You alright, pal? I know that voice. Akiyama-kun? Yikes, how does he know my name? <laughs> Everyone looking like... Hmm. Looks like I've been volunteered to take care of this guy. Guess I'll start by trying to get some food in him. <laughs> ah, I feel like a new man. For a minute there, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it. Can't help but feel like I've been taken for a ride here. How much can you eat anyway? Well, I definitely appreciate it. And hey, what's a little food between old friends, right? Yeah, sure. Now, I just have one tiny little question. Question wonderful, lay it on me. Who are you? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you and your corny jokes. You couldn't make a hyena laugh. I mean, he has hair now. He was uh, bald previously, right? I made you laugh, didn't I? But seriously, who are you? Wait, are you serious? You don't know who I am? He also gained a lot of weight. He has man boobs now. Or does that? Or is the model just messed up? I can't tell, to be honest. Serious, I don't know who you are. All jokes aside, all jokes aside. Can't believe it, you're actually serious. You're telling me you don't remember your senior officer, the man who taught you how to survive on the battlefield? Battlefield, what a battlefield, wait a sec. That over the top commando shtick? Your psycho son, the one I met at Camarucho. Oh, of all the ungrateful finally remembered, did ya? Grateful me, well, I do call recall that you taught me some pretty useful stuff back there in Camarucho. But I also seem to remember that I forgave all of your bills for my hostess club, so who's forgetful now? Anyway, it's been a while, Akiyama-kun. How've you been faring? Oh, changing the subject, huh? I've been fine, can't complain. What are you doing here? I thought you were giving shady risk management lectures on young folk in Kamarucho. What do you mean, shady? Anyway, I let my students take that over for me. Despite my extensive experience on the battlefield, my time in Kamarucho taught me that I still have some weaknesses. So I decided to return to the life of a mercenary and hone my skills. Hone your skills? This from the man I found face down in the street. Hey, what were you doing there anyway? It was all I could do to get to that spot from the airport. I just ran out of resource and energy, that's all. Guess things are tough nowadays, huh? Even for mercenaries. But I managed to make it these past three days on the streets, thanks to my superb survival training. 
three days on the street? You mean you haven't bathed in three days? Of course I haven't, and I just returned from the front lines, so actually it's been more like ten days. That's disgusting, I thought something smelled funny. That was you? <laughs> Quit acting like a spoiled baby. There isn't enough water on the battlefield to drink, let alone bathe. There's plenty of water at the airport, or a hotel for that matter. Your hair looks kinda crusty there. Huh. Thought you used to shave your head. On this last trip to the battlefield, I decided to try my hand at aerial combat. Oh, okay, sorry for asking about your hair. And I came up <laughs> with a new technique. What the fuck is this shit? What the hell do you mean? They're just gonna gloss over the fucking hair? And I came up with a new technique. I'd like to teach it to you as a way of saying thanks for the meal. There's no need for that. I'm actually pretty busy. I won't allow retreat. The orders of your senior officer are absolute. Is this because I asked about your hair? Alright, fine. Let's see it. That's the spirit. Prepare for battle. Uh, let me just make sure. This is for training purposes, right? I get the feeling you just want to beat me up. Enough talk, we fight! <laughs> Enough talk, we fight. How though? What button do you want me to use? Oh. This spell you can only deal damage to Psycho with launch skill moves. While in heat mode you can launch... Try for combo attack by rapidly tapping square to... After launching... Interesting. Actually, it still doesn't really... Okay, you passed the test. You learned launch strike. Look at you. Looking at you reminds me of this one time. I was looping through the air, dodging missiles and the like, when all of a sudden I see the smoking hot bikini babe on the beach. Our eyes met and she smiled at me. But you were from the fighting play fighter plane, right? How could your eyes have met? Never you mind that. The point is, I'm really impressed by your reflexes. Why don't you come with me and make a name for yourself in the Middle East? Not in a million years, pal. No, that's too bad. Well, I'd better be on my way. Take care of yourself, you hear? Enough for today, eh? Fine, we'll continue some other time. What? There's more? You think that's all I learned after staring down death several times over in the scorching heat of the desert? Of course there's more! I'll be waiting here for you. Come back whenever you re when you're ready for more training. What? Look, don't wait here for my sake. Just go home. I uh, can't go home yet. No way. Not yet. All right, all right. No need to get it worked up. I have to stay here. I have my reasons. I hope you can understand and will come see me now and again. Saigo san. What do I do? I have no idea what he's talking about. It looks like he's pretty adamant about whatever he is feeling though. Okay, you got it. I'll stop by when I have the chance. Wonderful! In the meantime, I'll be working round the clock in preparation for your next visit. Okay, we're gonna just do everything. Uh, we got a new email. Warriors on the warpath. Oh, this one is unlocked now as well. And all the side quests are now open. Which we're all gonna do after training. Uh, suicidal running. And then there's suicidal shooting as well. Fuck my life. Probably should have read. It's more fun. Crap, you already have everyone in place. Fine, let's finish this before the cops come. 
Lex, I used this method of training before without causing any problems. I think everyone's just too shocked to complain. Are you ready? Ready! Boom on the back of the head. Nice slash click plus. Watching you reminds me of that one time. I ran alongside my war buddy's fighter plane to hand him his wallet after he forgot it. There's no way you could run that fast. Besides, who needs a wallet to fly a warplane? So what did you learn this time? Hmm. I'm more nimble now, and it feels like my sense of balance has improved. You learn slash kick plus. Your fighting style is based on kicking, so you must train both your legs equally. Don't focus solely on your dominant one. Remember that every time you go into battle, all right, you're dismissed. How about I dismiss you, bitch? Uh, wait, not yet. Of course he's packing his SMG, fucking hell. There's no end to this bullshit. No, go away. Oh. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Also not what I wanted to do. Need more fighting room. You got salt? I got salt? What do you mean I got salt? equip the platinum mill because I don't want to take too much fucking damage on the guns. I lost. Okay, psycho son. Train. Suicidal shooting. This exercise, my students and I will shoot at you as you make your way from here to the goal. If you pass, you're able to take us down to return fire. What else will we use? I've got everything we need right here. Don't worry. 
stating the obvious, but don't you see any problem with waging a gun battle in the middle of town? This is an urban warfare training, so I'd say we're in the perfect place. Of course, we're using replica guns. As much as I'd like to use live rounds, I felt we should do the neighbors a favor. I actually agree with you for once. Are you ready? Ready! I got the queen. I go, he's already shooting at me from that distance. of wisdom teeth selling and falling out like that and how could you possibly fire a tooth from gun anyway so what did you learn to this hmm I feel like I can literally dodge bullets after being shot at like that quick step attack Jing won't take out your enemy so it's important to attack at the same time remember you go into battle I can't I gotta go buy potions in a bit Suicidal combat. It's an all out, no holes barrel battle. Defeat me and you pass. Stand here and hit each other sounds simple enough. But it wouldn't be a much of a training exercise if we slugged it out barehanded. That's why I'll be using a machine gun. Machine gun? You weren't kidding when you said this was called suicidal combat. This is a high performance replica gun that has been customized for training purposes. It'll definitely hurt, but it's not going to kill you. If you're going to customize a special gun, why not make it so it doesn't hurt? Don't be such a baby. Your superior officer orders are absolute, and I order you to not be afraid. You're not my superior officer or anyone's superior officer for that matter, but whatever, I'll trust you. I can trust you, right? Good. Trust between comrades can turn the time to battle. Are you ready? He doesn't even answer that. <laughs> he just f is like... Yeah. <laughs> 
Are you serious? I can't move over that thing. Okay. Uh, I know there are more. I don't know if I should actually go into the other ones. Uh, maybe I should. Don't really care. I guess actual fighting is the best training. I thought of a move that can really turn tables in the fight. Meteor Strike Climax Heat. Moons can also be the greatest defense if it means you can take out an enemy before he strikes. Okay, you're dismissed. Um, yeah, let's go do some side missions and go get some more healing potions while we're at it. Gotta start somewhere. Rouge your love. Who's this girl? I go wars dancing Akiyama. Where's the sky finest place? It should be somewhere around here. Hmm? Looks like we might have another customer. Already got a lot to deal with. What should I do? Talk to her. If I don't deal with business once in a while, Hanachan will have my height. Excuse me. Were you looking for my office? Are you from Sky Finance then? Bingo. I'm the president, Akiyama. Oh, you're Akiyama son? Fabulous. I've been looking for you. Have you now? So, what might this be about? I want to borrow money. I see. You're after financing. That's not exactly something to be discussing on the street. How about we talk? Uh, take this to my office? But your office is a mess. First, may I have your name, please? Nanako Kodama. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kodama-san. You mentioned you were seeking a loan. How much were you hoping to get? Well, 300 million. Mm. Yes, I heard that you lent any amount. Mm, geez, word on the street really is getting out of hand. You mean you won't lend me the money? I'm not sure yet. Why exactly would you need that kind of money? You see, I'm actually a pinup model. Idol. Hmm. Well, you certainly look like one. Nice boobs, too. Akiyama-san, I heard about you from an older girl. She said you took care of her. Did she now? And what does a pinup idol want from me? It's my agency. They stopped treating me with the kind of respect I deserve. They said they're changing my promotion approach and suddenly demanded that I change my public persona. They call you an idol, but that's just a title. I imagine even an idol will have to change to meet the market's needs and wants. Yeah. My fans aren't like that. They know Nanako Kodama is the real deal. What you see is what you get. If I were to suddenly change, I would be betraying my fans. I can understand that, but your agency must be thinking you can attract even more fans by doing so. It's not about the numbers. I most certainly can't and won't betray the people who have support me so far. Hmm. Long story short, I decided it would be better off promoting myself. And to go independent. Yes, I want if I want to stay me, I have to set up my own agency and represent myself. I see. In other words, you're seeking a loan to kickstart your own agency. That's about some sit up? Exactly. Do you have any seat money? None. Business plan? Nope. Really. So why 300 million? I'm sorry. Since you're in the entertainment business, you should know that behind the glitz and glamour, money often times money is often times extremely tight. Not even top stars get promoted with that massive budget these days. You're looking at it backwards. I spent 300 million yen and you can make a star out of just about anyone. Mm, no, that's not how it works. It's just like Korean dramas and music. They only broke out in Japan after being promoted like crazy. This is no different. You may have a point there. I don't think you should go cheap on promotion just because the economy is bad. Success takes risk. Hentai! I want to prove my agency wrong and succeed as Nanako Kodama, just as I am, not faking it. 
For that, I need 300 million yen. I get the picture. Okay, then, instead of a loan assessment, I'll have you take some tests. If you can pass them, the 300 million is yours. Test, indeed. Succeed. Success takes risks. Isn't that what you said? I get it. Okay, I'll do it. If it means making my dream come true, I'll do anything you ask. I like your attitude. So what would you have me do? Let's see. What should her assignments be? See if you have what it takes to become a number one earner. Huh? Me? A hostess? Yep. I'll hook you up with a friend's club. You'll work there. But this is so out of the blue. I have a busy career too, you know. You only have to work one day. If you're the highest earner that day, you pass. If not, you fail. Mm, just one day? That's too easy. I'm a pin-up model idol, remember? A celebrity. If I just so much as mention it on my blog, my fans will come stampeding. Does today work? Sure. If you want, I can go right now. Get in touch with the club, so off you go. The place is called Mamagoto. Okay, 300 million, here I come. Well, well, this should be interesting. Welcome back, that was quick. What kind of place did you send me to? There's no way I could make number one there. Oh, I thought you said it would be easy for a celebrity to become a top girl. And when all the girls working at the cab uh, club are celebrities, they're all pros like me. They sure are. That's the club's big draw. There were even younger girls from my age, you see. If I could become a top earner there, I wouldn't need to go independent. So you gave up without even trying? Guess you feel then. That's yeah. too bad. Wait, wait a second. I didn't say anything about giving up. But you said you can't win, isn't that right? That's not true. I'll beat the girls from my agency for sure. You just watch. Well, I thought she was all talk, but she might have more drive than I expected. Mama Goto Club is in East Cho Fuku Cho. I should swing by and see how she's holding up. Okay, this quest goes. On um, for a while, I guess. Uh, is there a quest on this street? Yeah. You wouldn't happen to know where Sky Finance is, would you? I hear it's around here somewhere. Sky Finance? Never heard of it. I see. Sorry to bother you. Wish it could be of more help. Another one. Jesus. All the Sky Finances. Could be a new client. Looking for Sky Finance. Huh. Oh, hi there. That's right. How would you know? I just heard you asking about it. Friendly Osaka. I see. I should have guessed. I mean, they're looking for a place called Sky Finances. Do you know it? Yeah, it's right over there. Ah, it was right there all along. Silly <laughs> me. You're looking at the owner, huh? The name is Akiyama. I'm the president of Sky Finances, looking to take out a loan. Huh? You motherfucker! You're so you're the piece of shit who thinks he can just start up his own money lending gig here. Wait, what? Yeah, that's me. Why? Like we're gonna let you get away with that? We don't want no shady types around here. You feel? It'll ruin the city. There are tons of other money lenders in the area. What about uh -huh. them? Shut it. We don't take kindly to outsiders telling us how to run business here. Now pack up shop and get your greasy ass out of our town. Look, I've already got everything cleared with the city office. What? Like I give a fuck. You're handing out zero interest, indefinite terms, loans, right? You got another thing coming if you think that shit will fly around here. Okay, pal, I get it. You're all a local competitor. And you've come to chase me off that, right? Well, you need to worry. We target a different types of clientele. I doubt we'll interfere with your business. Huh? Did I say you could talk, jerkwad? I ain't here to chew the fat with you. I'm telling you to piss off or else. Well, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. I'll have to ask you to leave. You won't want to cause a disturbance now, would you? Sure. You're gonna regret this. Fine. If it ain't gonna listen, prepare to meet your makers. Who the fuck is this guy? Orimoto. Jesus, this guy is weak.
Make sure you can fight, or to learn to move like that, eh? Thanks. Are we good now? Yeah. Glad we sorted out this misunderstanding. Here, let me give you a little something. <laughs> Got it. Hey, wait, my wallet? Hold on a second. Did that motherfucker just run off with my fucking wallet? Asshole. I just runs off with my fucking wallet. Come on, don't make me run. You want to get kicked around some more? Sorry, it was just instinct. I'm beat. Can I go now? Whatever you want. Here, take this as a housewarming gift. You better not go for my pockets again. I won't. I'm exhausted. Tattered scarf. Well, let me know if you ever need a hand. Be seeing ya. That guy has a fucking grin on his face. Good grief. I'm always tough moving uh, to... It's always tough moving to a new town. Give me a break, Rams. Out of my way. First, pick up the cigarettes you tossed. This ain't a garbage dump. Everyone use this street. Stupid old fuck. The street's full of litter already. Why you gotta pick on me? Oh, so if the street's already dirty, it's okay? How would you like it if I threw my garbage away at your house? Hey, the fuck's going on over here? Ah, there you are. This old goat won't leave me alone. Oh, is that right? Well, I was just telling him not to throw his cigarettes butts onto the street. Ain't so high and mighty now, are you? One look at my boy's boy here's got you pissing your pants. Just, Gramps, how about an apology? Get down on the street and gov grovel a little. Come on, hurry up. You can't just go around disrespecting people, old man. But if you want to bow to us, all will be forgiven. You have my words. Just kneel down and don't make a fuss. Just show us you learned your lesson and we won't have to break your legs. You got that? <sighs> what kind of man do you fools take me for? If you think for one second I'm going to bow down to you, then you're, f you're even dumber than you look. What's that? Ain't nothing for me to apologize about. You won't catch me kneeling down to the likes of you. You want to fight? I'm more than willing. No point in being bullheaded, Gramps. You want to go to the hospital all over a cigarette yeah. butt? Sip it. You're the one causing trouble here. I'll teach you blockheads a lesson. Very funny, Gramps. You spit in our faces so you all know there ain't no way we're backing down now. Might be a good idea if you ask me. The two of you picking on this old timer, you never live that one down. You sure you want to take that attitude with us? I'm telling you what, you walk away and I'll back down too. But if you lay a finger on this guy, you'll have to deal with me. Who are you? Just a passerby. It was nice to hear someone sticking up for himself for a change. <laughs> hmm. Say thanks. You talk big game, but you really ought to think of the consequence before mouthing off. Your life just got a whole lot shorter. We'd never hear the end of it if we'd let this go. Got no choice but to spill some blood. Uh-oh. Now you really made him mad. Haha, <laughs> too bad that'll teach you to mess with us. to do a special move, but it's not working. The fuck, who the hell are you guys? Want another round? Shh, come on, let's get out of here. Hold on, pick up your cigarette first. Sorry, I'll get it. <laughs> Appreciate you lending a hand. That was some fine work you did. I could say the same about you. Seems you could have done just fine without me. 
Sorry you had to see me lose my temper like that. I just can't stand to such inconsiderate behavior. Yeah. People gotta think about others as well. No double dipping into the sauce after you take a bite. We all might want some, you know? Double dipping into the sauce. I think he might have lost me. Oh, I should introduce myself. I am Uyama, the chairman of the Kushikikatsu Daruma. Ah, the fried pork skewer place. That explains the sauce analogy. Oh, I'm Akiyama of Sky Finances. I just set up a branch in Sotenbori. No kidding. I might be in touch if I ever need a helping hand. <laughs> Always ready to hear people out. Seems like fate could be at work here. You ought to stop by the restaurant if you get the chance. Hopefully I'll have a new menu together by then. Uh. I've been wrecking my brain to come up with one. I was starting to get frustrated, then that idiot tossed... That idiot... Tossed... His butt into the streets. Makes the blood boil, don't, you? don't it? I couldn't control my temper. You mean all that fuss was you taking out your frustration on him? Well, maybe I was a little pricklier than usual, but never mind that. Here's a little something that's token. Hope to see you at Kushikatsu Daruma, Akiyama-san. Level up, nice. Uh, no, I'm not gonna wait. Put the item away. <clears throat> so, is there really a new. Fuck you, bro. Hani Doru Daru thingy. So, is there really a new menu item here? Oh no, this is not the place. The pork place. That's on the other side of town, I think. If I remember correctly. Uh, Zobuya style bar. Yeah, Daruma. It's over here. I need to go that way anyways. Shomatia! No. Okay, let me fill up my bag with healing items. Emperor. We'll just take the Emperor's, it's cheaper. And use uh, my heat attacks during the training sessions anyway. It does look like it's only in like the mascot out front. Let me show you table please. Welcome, how can I get you? What should I get? Nothing new. That's kind of a shame. Get an angler's hook. <laughs> you know that sprint circle machine at Club Sega? They say ghosts sometimes appear in the photos. Huh? What do you mean a ghost? I don't know. Heard about it in the class. They call it the cursed print circle. We gotta check it out. Huh? It's probably gonna be scary, but you wanna go? Oh yeah, we need to do that with Akiyama as well. The cursed print circle near blah. blah, blah. The right hand photo booth. Use it once they leave. Chase the ghost and tackle him down. Now head back to the girls at Club Sega. I probably shouldn't be reading out this out loud. Ruins the fun of figuring out what the quest is about. Oh well, fuck it.
Fuck this shit, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. It's what they say. Wouldn't it be awesome if it was true? Hmm? More like terrifying. Okay, take the picture. We're gonna do that as well once uh, this is done. What? A monster in the photo? Huh? Where? Here, right here. Huh? That's me, you nitwit. Aww. Sucks. Ain't no ghost in this pic. Just a couple of babes. Way to be mullets there, Sachi son. Well, I guess it was just the urban legend after all. Oh well, let's go. All this making pretty faces and posing for the camera makes me hungry. Well, the figures, but since I'm here, may as well take a photo as a souvenir. Take a picture. Came out here to investigate, might as well see this through. Okay, let's see how it turned out. This is the ghost. That's as fake as they come. That's the ghost. Hey, hold it. Not a real ghost, Akiyama. beat so anyway what's your deal i'm sorry wait a second been through something like this before huh well actually there's no harm in your pranks and i don't intend to do anything about it sure why i chased you to be honest then will you accept this just a little way to say sorry so why do you do it is it really fun photobombing people sprint circles shots all dressed up like that <laughs> Well, at first, I just photobombed people, but after seeing everyone get scared and freaked out, I figured dressing up would be way more fun. Just making sure they get their money's worth. Once that dummy. Besides, why are you still wearing that mask? If you really mean to apologize, show me respect and take it off. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Bet he's from Yakuza 4 as well. You know, for a guy who likes terrifying high school girls, you're pretty non-descriptive. Well, yeah. Alright. Take it easy from now on, okay? You don't want to cause the arcade any trouble. I'm really sorry. I think I'm ready to let go and move on for this sort of thing this time. Whatever makes you happy. Yeah, I'll be going now. So much for that. No more ghosts than a sheet of on the clothesline. How about no? See, I forgot to do this with Kiryu. Kiryu. So I gotta do it with Akiyama at least. It's those girls again. Phew, can't eat another bite. But I wonder if that Prince Circle rumor was just BS. Wanna try it again? They're still going on about that? I guess we did quit after only one try. They're still going about it. I should fill them in. And pardon me, ladies. Did I hear you say something about a cursed print circle? What do you want, Pops? <laughs> oh, the disheveled look. Can't say I disprove, huh? Really into that? I way prefer no no Miyakun. Was you were saying something about the cursed print circle? Ain't you kinda old for showing an interest in ghost stories? 
totally super childish, but yeah. Have a look at this, see? Yeah, that's him. The whole Curse Prince Circle thing was some guy pulling a prank. Oh, hey, he doesn't have a mask yet. This must be from when he was just starting. I chased him down just now. Man, he was fast. Still, I managed to collar him, and he seems pretty sorry. Doubt he's, he'll be doing this again. What? It's with looks. What are you talking about, dude? This guy died three years ago. Huh? He was always photobombing people in that print circle. One day, someone got pissed and chased him all over town. The poor guy ran out into the streets without noticing a red light, and well, that's that. Ever since, he's been photobombing that print circle from beyond the grave. Or so people say. So what do you mean you met the guy? Huh? <laughs> Wait. Are you trying to pick us up with the lame story? That's adorable for the effort. Oh, is that what it's about? Nice one. But I prefer when guys take a direct approach. No smooth moves for me. This was fun, though. Bye. Wait, what? <laughs> the fuck? Was that guy just a lookalike, or maybe... I mean, he did technically, physically run into him and kick his ass. So... Understandable that Akiyama is uh, surprised. Okay, so we gotta take the photos. Perfect landings on the photos this time again. It doesn't really matter which one we take. I forgot about this one. Oh, instant! That needs to be a little bit sooner. Oh, that's too soon. At least we got one. Instantly. Love to see you smile! Nice. Okay, that one's way shorter. It's probably like when we hit the one second. A lot more trouble when we're, we're doing this with Haruka. Maybe the other poses are gonna be harder. Did we level up, by the way? Probably not, right? Yeah, nice. Okay, that one needs a little bit more time. Piece of garbage. Yeah, this is the one that I wanted to do. Cool. 
tu voz. Thousand yen. Let's see what the next side quest is. Damn it! anyways okay talk to this girl over here Tim's girl um excuse me but um are you mr. bad boy mr. bad boy who's mr. bad boy oh sorry I thought you were someone else sure listen are you meeting someone since you don't know what the guy looks like I'm guessing it's someone you met online I thought I recognized the uniform she must go to the same school as Haruka the uniform which school is from it's a local high school right I'm sorry, but would you mind leaving me alone? I'm sorry about that. It's not my business. My apologies. I keep you waiting, sweet cheeks. You're Kazumi chan, right? Yes, that's me. Are you Mr. Bad Boy? In the flesh, baby. I see you did like I asked and came in uniform. But look at you, you're fine, fine, fine. I approach I approve. Let's not dawdle away. I want to get much closer look at you. Um but I don't. It's wrong, baby. You want the money, don't you? Come along now. Um, okay. It's be one of those paid relationships. Guys head straight to a love hotel, I bet. There's a love hotel at the south end of so show Fuchuko. Damn it, I've seen way too much to stay out of this. Yeah, Akiyama-san, that's the way we like to see things. Go kick these guys their asses. Dirty bastards. Can't have shit like that happen. There's another quest here, though. That triggers once I walk in here. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, I'm so sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. What about you? Are you alright? Looks like you took the worst of it. Yes, I'm fine. It's just that I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, sure. Go ahead. You don't have to worry about me. I'm so sorry. I have to go. Hello? Hey, it's Yamaura Akiyama-san. I was wondering, are you free right now? I should be. What's up? Sorry to drop this on you all of a sudden, but do you think you could head over to Ashitaba Park? Why? A talent... A girl got lost, so I told her to go there and wait. Her name is Strawberry Maya. Her agency is pushing her real hard right now. You know her? I can say I do. Yeah, that's understandable. Her agency is pretty small. It's totally on me, but I can... It completely slipped my mind that we're supposed to be looking after her just for today. See, her manager is getting married today, and since our agencies are pretty tight with one another, we agreed to look after Maya for the day. Stupid me, I forgot all about it, and our schedule's booked solid. And you want me to pick up the slack? Bingo. Glad we're on the same page. There's really no one else we can turn to. I mean, you run your own company, right? Surely you can be talent manager for a day? Well, actually, I let my secretary handle all that kind of stuff. In fact, she handles pretty much everything. <laughs> God damn it. It'll be okay. If anyone can do it, you can. I'm counting on you, Akiyama-san. I don't know. What does being a talent manager entail anyway? Maya's schedule's already set for today. You're pretty much just her chaperone. Oh, also, Maya's being promoted as a naturally perky, quirky girl. So try to keep her in character. Hmm. She's what now? It's actually really timid and proper and the like, but they're pushing her as a silly character. 
Why would they make a girl like that adopt that kind of persona? I don't know. It wasn't my call. Please, Akiyama-san, can you do this for me? I could really use your help. First, meet Maya at Ashibata Park and bring her to Dyna Chair for the magazine interview. Next, take her to Soten TV for a, a Love to See You Smile studio taping. And finally, she's to appear on Soten Bori Love Check Quiz also at Soten TV. Get all that? Don't forget the order now. Magazine interview, Love to See You Smile, and Soten Bori Love Check Quiz. Okay. Perfect. I knew I could count on you. You got this, Akiyama-san. Talk to you later. Hope it doesn't get in the way of the main quest. Okay, first I have to find Strawberry Maya at Ashibata Park. It's literally the girl that just ran into us. There's another quest here. Oh no, this is the hotel. Come on, babies. Quit stalling. No, I don't want to. There's that paid relationship couple. Come on, Kazumi-chan, what's your problem? You can't back out now, please. I decided I don't want to anymore. Or I want to go home. Now hold on, you're being unreasonable. I went through all this trouble to come see you. Junior here is not about to be blue-balled. Hey, pal, have a hard heart. You really force a girl into a place like this. Who the hell are you? I believe the girl said no. Tell Junior there to calm down and get out while you still have teeth. You stay out of this. Ain't none of your business. Look. This is a paid relationship deal, isn't it? And with a minor little less, that grounds for arrest, you know. Shut your yap, I told you to scram. Sorry, no more, please. Are you alright? I imagine you had enough of this paid relationship nonsense. I didn't do it because I wanted to. I didn't have a choice. You had no choice? You really that desperate for money? It wasn't about money. And what was it about? Kazumi, what do you think you're doing? Amy Chan. You're telling me you lost a customer? We got things to do, too, you know. So irresponsible of you not following through like that. So these girls were making you do this, but I don't understand why put up with it. Because I don't have any other friends at school. They said they'd ignore me if I didn't go on a paid date. Some friends, you'd be much better off without them. But if I didn't do what they said, they would bully me at school. They'd hit me, cut up my uniform and... How long are you going to talk to that geezer? We got to find another John. Come on, we're going. If you don't earn enough, how are we supposed to party? I'm sorry, did I hear that right? You want Kasumi to sell herself so you can goof off? That's got to be the new low. I'd love to meet your parents. Hmm. What do you know? How about I introduce you to my big brother instead? Hmm. Hey, what's up, Amy? Kazumi was gonna earn some money today, yeah? You run into trouble or what? This geezer is getting in the way. He keeps spewing grade school morality bullshit and holding things up. Huh? What's the matter, old man? You got a problem with my little sis? Why don't you take it up with me, then? Hmm. Let's get this straight. You're really Amy Chun's <laughs> older brother? You're pissing yourself now? That's what you get for thinking you can boss us around, mister. You should run. They're capable of anything when they are mad. Run? Why? I'm rather pleased they came along. Perfect timing, actually. What do you mean? Your little sister was really starting to piss me off, but I have this thing against hitting women, so frankly, I wasn't sure what to do. But now that you're here, well, problem solved, wouldn't you say? Really funny, old man. You're not from around these parts, are you? You don't know who you're dealing with. Bro, hurry up and stomp this asshole. Try and find more Johns is too much work. We'll just take his wallet after you're done with him. <laughs> God damn it. These guys uh, don't know what uh, they're in for yet.
mercy, please, we're sorry. Aniki, wait! Don't leave me here! Whoa. Old man, you're amazing. You know, that's not my name, right? You can call me Akiyama. Thank you, Akiyama-san. If it wasn't for you, I, I feel so stupid for being afraid of them. That's r <laughs> that right. Well, sorry if I cost you your friends. No, it's okay. I was only with them because I was scared of Amy-chan's brother. I'm not going to have anything to do with them anymore. I'll try to try my best to make new friends. That's good. Actually, there's a girl who might be a good start. I think she attends the same school as you. Really? Her name is Haruka Sawamura. You know her? Akiyama-san, you know Haruka-chan? Yeah, you might say that. She's so busy with her idol, uh, being an idol these days, she hasn't had the chance to make any friends at school. Mind saying hi to her? I'm sure to make her happy. She's an idol. Do you really think we could become friends? She's an idol, but she's also just an ordinary girl. And your age, too. I'm sure she feels lonely at school with some uh, with some few friends. I didn't think I would be like that. I'll work up some courage and try to talk to her. I greatly appreciate it. I have to go now. Thank you, Akiyama-san. Oh. I didn't realize we had that many fucking... Uh, orbs. Uh, let's see. I want to do some body to get my HP up, because we need more HP. Mm, we're on three. Beta drive. Hey, nice. Ow. Let's see, what else do we have? Side quest. Don't you run! Good easy! So are we gonna do... Here's Ashitaba Park, now I need to find this Maya girl. Um, um. Aren't you the young lady who bounced off me earlier? I'm terribly sorry about that, um, I'm Strawberry Maya. You are? Yes, I beg your pardon, but are you Akiyama-san of Daina Chair? Well, sort of. I'm not an employee of Daina Chair, but... You aren't? Uh, Yamaura-san asked me to serve as your manager today. I hope I can measure up. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you're here. Yamaura-san said you got lost. Is that why you were in such a rush? My sense of direction is awful. I walked all over so I'm worried, but I still couldn't find Dino Chair. You don't say. Alright then, let's get started. It's my job to get you to your appointments today. Okay, your first job today is... what was it now? Magazine interview. First up is a magazine interview. We're we have to go to Dino Chair for that. Okay, thanks so much. Domo arigato. Well, this is it, Dino Chair. Oh, could you wait a moment, please? Hmm? Everything all right? During interviews like this, I always get my manager to guide me with cue cards. So you can read off them? Yes, I'm supposed to be a naturally perky and quirky character, but if I don't watch it, I go back to being my usual ordinary self. To avoid that, I have my manager guide me with cue cards. Could you please do that for me today, Akiyama-san? Mm, sure, that's fine, but I'm going to need you to elaborate. What exactly does natural, perky, and quirky character look like? The basic premise is that I'm a princess from the Strawberry Kingdom who's secretly visiting Japan. You're what? Also, to indicate emotion, Maya always changes the final word of senses sentence. She's happy. Maya says, Paloom. Maya is angry, she adds Pum. Like, Maya is not happy Pon if she's confused. She strikes a pose and says, Funya Bar? No, no, you need to strike a pose like this. Funya Bar? <laughs> the fuck? You're braver than most, you know that. <laughs> yes, honestly, it's something I would rather not do. Whenever I see myself doing it on TV, well, it's kind of hard to live with. <laughs> Aww. And if the manager isn't quick enough with the cue cards, I have to say something to avoid any awkward silence. Huh? So I need the cue cards. Well, to be honest with you, I'm not too confident about doing this. Please, I really need it. If I break character, my boss will kill me. I'll do the best I can. Hello, 
I'm Asano with Beginner Magazine. We're a talent edition news magazine. Today we're hoping to deliver, delve a little into Maya Chan's private life. We oui, nice to meet you, Paloomp. So, Strawberry Maya Chan comes as advertised. Are you always like that, even when you're not on TV? But of course, Paloomp, Maya is the princess of the Strawberry Kingdom, after all. Hmm, yes. Yes, you are. Forgive me. Maya Chan's really laying it on thick. She's normally so sincere and serious, too. It must be tough for her to keep it up. Can't let her effort go to waste. I have to make sure the cue cards are ready. She says Paloomp when she's happy, Pum when she's angry, and Foya Par if she's stuck f if she's stuck for an answer. Can you tell us how you spend your holidays? What does mo someone like you do on their time off? Hmm, Maya can't do without her strawberry carriage. She just loves taking it out for long drives. Strawberry carriage? What is that? The strawberry carriage is a giant strawberry drawn by white stallions. The premise is... I'm sorry. Did you just say premise? Oh, um... Um... I didn't say that poem. Is that so? Pretty certain I heard you say the word premise. I did not pull. Well, if you say so, and just to tough it out. I guess this is how I, I'm supposed to support her. This will be the final question. We received credible reports that you're actually from Osaka, Maya-chan. Would you care to comment? So not true. Maya is the Prince of Starberry Kingdom, Pum. There are photos circulating online that are purportedly of you from your junior high book here. Were you aware of that? Pardon? Is that true? Doesn't look good. I went to the school and spoke with one of your teachers. She said that you were a timid but rather thoughtful and considerate student. Well, you see, let me ask you straight. Is it hard to keep up a Strawberry Maya's Chun character? Don't worry. This can be off the record. <laughs> Maya Chun isn't acting! Boom! Okay, you know, Maya Chun. I have to hand it to you for your dedication. You're a real pro. That went well. Pum and pum. Phew, that's one job done. Yes, thank you. We still have more to do. Okay, what's next? Love to see you smile. All right, you're going to be on Love to See You Smile. Let's get you over to Sony TV. Oh, yes, please. Jesus Christ, this sounds like a giant pain in the ass. Welcome to Love to See You Smile. How is everybody doing? Love to See You Smile is a talk show. My chance is really going to need those cue cards to stay in character. I see, I see, but I have to know, do you really have fans? Oh, we, oui, very much so. I enjoy the love and support of everyone in the Strawberry Kingdom. Let's set aside the Kingdom of Strawberries for a sec. How about Osaka? You have fans in this neck of the woods? We, oui, we. Oui. I'm adored in Osaka too. How dare you doubt me, Nomu Sampon? Okay, so far so good. Well, you'd be cute if you weren't babbling nonsense. Word of advice, that bit about Strawberry Kingdom isn't doing you any favors. Huh? It's not? Of course it's not. When someone comes in with weird gimmick like that, it makes it hard to engage in banter. If you ask me, Maya-chan, you ought to go to your agency and talk it over with them. Maybe consider switching up your brand a little, you know? Something proper. But I... The Strawberry Kingdom is real, Pon! Real Pon, it's not some made-up backstory, Pon. My, you're an obstinate one. Don't you find it tiring to keep up that quirky perky charade day in day out? No, not at all. This is just who I am. Please, you can't fool me. Even when you do that Fonya Par pose, your eyes tell me you can't stand it. Fonya Par is a standard greeting in... The... Would be silly for me to find it humiliating. Come off it already. Incidentally, who thought up that Fonya Par thing anyway? Who, uh... Traditional greeting! Oh, this fucking sucks. These people are assholes to begin with, yo. We thought it up, pun. 
Okay, you win, princess. I'm waving the white flag. She did it. She managed to write that out. We should be okay now. The poor girl. Phew. Well, that's it for love to see you smile, but we still have one more job to do. Yes, it's a quiz program. Sotenbori love check quiz. Let me guess. To maintain the quirky image, you have to get the answers wrong. Is that right? Yes, that's right. The agency told me if I must not answer correctly. They don't make it easy for you, do they? The quiz is made up of true or false questions. If I'm to answer incorrectly, I'll need to know which answers is actually correct. Okay, get that? I'll need you to guide me with cue cards again. Will you please help me? Of course, I'm right behind you. Um, do I remember the buttons? X, O? To the show, Strawberry Maya-chan. You're well known for your quirky ways, but some rumors say you're actually a quiet, serious, and relative ordinary person. Oh, no, no, no. I am not quirky at all. I am the princess of Strawberry Kingdom. Please forgive me. Now let's begin, shall we? Time to start so for Sotobori Love Check Quiz. Okay, let's get the cue cards ready for Maya. Chan to sit, day in character. She has to give the wrong answers, meaning I have to give her the wrong answers. Question one. Between Osaka Prefecture and Tokyo Metropolis, Osaka is bigger of the two. True or false? True. It's true. Incorrect. Number two. Two times three times four. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. False. Balls. You know, Akiyama, you could just make one true and one false thing, right? And just switch them out. Uh, true. True. Day of July is the 31st. <laughs> False. True. Revolution before Russian Revolution. <laughs> God damn it. False! Whoa. Spectacular 0 out of 10 that takes some doing. Even if you're guessing randomly, was it perhaps too hard for the Strawberry Princess? Oh, we oui, indeed it was. Much too hard for me. Baloom. Thank you for coming, Strawberry Maya. Join us next time on Sotenbori Love Check Quiz. I feel bad for this girl. What the hell, bro? Good job, Maya-chan. Appreciate you bearing with me. Oh no, Akiyama-san. Thank you for putting up with me. I'm sorry I'm so high maintenance. No, no, Maya-chan. You're doing all the work. I admire your commitment. Thank you. Something wrong? I don't know if I can keep this up much longer. It feels so forced and fake, trying to go forward with the character who's nothing like me. It originally prompted you to market yourself this way. My manager told me I would never make it if I took a conventional approach, but it's really my fault. I'm usually so timid and I get all flustered when I talk to people. What I really want is a job on a children's TV program where I can sing together with the kids. I've always liked uh, children. I used to play with them every day. Well, when you put it that way, your character might not be out of line. Kids love that kind of thing, right? I thought so too, but I've only ever appeared on variety programs. I haven't done a single job where I get to sing with kids. So I'm wondering if it's even worth it to keep pretending to be someone I'm not. What good is it if I can't even follow my dreams? Maybe I'm just not cut out for this. The poor girl's exhausted. As her manager, I should try to cheer her up. 
Um, Akiyama-san, do you think I should drop the whole silly Strawberry Kingdom thing? Carry on for your fans. If you were to drop out a character now, you'd be betraying all the fans who support you. I think you should stay, of course, Maya-chan. Do you really think so? The fact that you work so hard to stay in character could actually be part of your charm. I think kids will pick up on that. I watched you all day today. I think I get how your fans see you now. Thank you. I feel much better about everything. I'll keep going as the Prince of Strawberry Kingdom. Yep, hang in there. I'm so glad I got to get that off my chest, Akiyama-san. I don't dare speak to my real manager about this. Knock, knock, knock. Hmm? You're expecting someone? Um, well... And uh, you are? Hmm. What do you mean? You don't know who I am? Sugihara-san? You know this guy? Um, yes, I have you heard, Akiyama-san. Sugihara-san is a big name in the comedy world. Ah, right. I may have seen him on TV. So, Sugihara-san, what brings you here today? Offering me a spot on one of his regular programs, but... Aya chan baby, why you been avoiding me? We should continue our discussion from before. Maybe somewhere private? Well, it's just I... Not to worry. Come to my show, and you'll be riding my rocket to stardom. You see, I can understand your concerns. It's a big career move. What do you say we grab a bite somewhere and get to know each other a little better? Mm, Maya? Is this guy hounding you? Yes, I've been turning down his advances. People tell me I have to watch myself around Tsukihara-san on account of his thing for newcomers. Hey, who the hell are you? You ain't the usual manager, are you? Sounds to me like you should piss off. You're right, I'm not her manager. Then get out! I got things to discuss with Maya-chan in private. Sorry, pal, no can do. What? You have any idea who you're talking to? So, you're a big name in comedy? Wouldn't you know it? I'm not involved in the entertainment industry in the slightest. In other words, you could be the emperor of entertainment, but as far as I'm concerned, you're just another sleaze. If you want to keep running your mouth, I suggest you keep that in mind. Mm, screw you, you smug bastard! Thank you so much, Akiyama-san. Sad to think guys like that actually exist. <laughs> Show business is a scary place. <laughs> I'll take you back to Sotenbori. It's been fun, but I'm afraid our time together is over. Yes, I suppose it is. That sounds so... sad. You know? Okay, I better get going. Akiyama-san? In there, Maya-chan. I'll be cheering for you from the other side of the TV. Take care. Not so fast! Sugihara-san? You think you can just stroll away after dissing me to my face? You little punk, I'll show you what I'm about, really. You know, for a big star, you're amazingly petty. Everything I wanted, I took and made it mine. You want to make it big? You gotta be determined to take whatever you want. You make for a pretty good speaker if your head weren't so far up your ass. What should we do? No problem. Keeping talent safe is part of a manager's job. Maya-chan, may I ask you to step back a little? I'll show you. Get him, boys! He'll be singing a different tune once we rip his arms off. Go ahead and try, bitch! Whoop in the dick! On the head! These guys by yourself screw this I'm out of here <laughs> you're amazing Akiyama-san <laughs> you all right I'm so glad you were my manager today Akiyama-san but now this is really the end isn't it yeah that's how it goes I get to meet all kinds of people in this job but things tend to move so quickly I usually never see them again thank you so much for everything today Akiyama-san thanks to you I was able to focus on my work that's right that right glad to hear it usually very guarded around people, so I was worried about not having my usual manager to stare at me today. But I'm very glad I got you instead, Akiyama-san. So, um, if you don't mind, may I give you these? Stamina Royale. And a Red Jewel. I'm still poor, so that's all about all I could give you to show my gratitude. Sorry, it's not much. No, no. You made my day. Thank you. 
thank you again, Nakayama-san. I'm pretty high maintenance, aren't I? I'm painfully aware of it. Yeah, well, it's definitely made the manager job a lot more interesting. I'm sure your regular manager feels the same. You really think so? Well, I was your manager for the day. I'd like to think I've earned at least that much trust. <laughs> you have. Okay, Akiyama-san, thank you so much for today. Goodbye. Sayonara! Keep at it, Maya-chan. The poor girl. Yeah, you are so strong and fun, Akiyama-san. Give him Viagra pills as a gift. Call me Wink Wink. Sap. She's probably still underage, okay? You, you can't say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that, bro. Damn it, get the fuck out of my way. I need to talk to this asshole here. Um, hey, Pell, what are you doing? Don't try and stop me. I have to kill myself. Oh, well, you're probably not going to die if you jump from there. Not unless you can't swim. Huh, really? You idiot, stay out of this. It was just starting to get good, too. Well, that sucks. Let's go. Wait, are you guys literally waiting for him? Huh? Am I the bad guy here? Age of consent in Japan is 14. By the way, earlier it works only in Muslim country. Under development. Under developed ones. Yeah, let's, let's not talk about this. Sorry to drag you into this. No kidding. I feel like a real ass trying to play the good guy. I'm sorry. So, why kill yourself? I'm already involved. Uh, invo involved? I may as well hear you out. I was a little short on money, so I went to a loan shark. And long story short, I now owe more than I can ever hope to repay. You should have consulted a lawyer right away. They would have shut down any threats in no time flat. But loan sharks seem to know that. They said they'd kill me if I went to a lawyer. Plus, they are watching my every move, so I couldn't call one even if I wanted to. So you settled on killing yourself, you didn't really think that through, did you? It's always this way with me. I fail at everything I do. This death isn't even mine. I was forced into it by... Into being a... Gurentator. Gurentator? I fucking know how to pronounce that. And now it turns out I can't even kill myself properly. I don't know what to do anymore. Hmm. Depressing. But you're in luck for change. After all, it was none other than me who stopped you from jumping. I haven't introduced myself. I'm Akiyama. I run a money lending business by the name of Sky Financing. What? You're a loan shark too? Oh, I get it. You seem all f too friendly at first, but then... Watch. You're going to bleed me dry just like the rest <laughs> of the... Now, now. Just hear me out. The loan sharks and I are a little different when it comes to loan applications. I have only one condition. That you pass the tests I assign. Test? Right. If you pass, you qualify for a loan with no maximum limit, no interest, and no collateral. That's our specialty. No limit, no interest, no collateral? How is that even possible? Let me worry about that. So what do you say? Care to take my test? Uh, yes. Yes, please. Okay, then let's get to work. Your test is simple. Go to the lender's office right now and tell them you're going to a lawyer. But I can't. I told you, if I so much as think about talking to a lawyer, they kill me. Why would you make me do that? <laughs> you can whine all you want, but that's my test. It's up to you. You in or out? Mm, but... Look, you weren't doing a very good job, but you were trying to kill yourself, right? Try using that nothing left to lose attitude to face your problem head on. Not run away from it. This could be your last chance, you know. Akiyama-san, I... Okay, I'll get it. I'll do it. Great. Let's not waste any time. Where's their office? They're over in West Shofuchoku. Good. Off you go, then. Don't worry. I'm with you all the way. If they kill you, I'll spring for your funeral. Thank you. Okay, here I go. Will he actually go through with this? He said it's the lenders in West Show Food Kucho. I better go take a look. Where is that? All the way over there. We don't want to run into any other of the other quests with this one. Why? Because I said so. So we're just gonna dash. Moving around at the speed of sound Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow Hey, 
It's now or never. Hopefully they won't kill me. No, I'm going to live. I'm going to get out of this and get my life together. Here I go. Well, you're to see how this plays out. It's been a while. I'm supposed to should check in on them. Go inside. So, you understand? We just want to be friends with you, Sasamoto-kun. When you start talking about lawyer, it kind of hurts our feelings. Get it, shithead? Uh, yeah, I get it. Oh, good, we're on the same page then. That's great. No, I mean, I get it now. What it means to use my nothing-left-to-lose attitude. I'm going to get my life back together. I'm not going to cower and hide anymore. I'm not going to give in to scum like you. I'm ready to die. You want to kill me? Go ahead and do it. Bastard. Well said. I wasn't expecting that. Huh? Oh, hey, you morons. Which one of you left the door open? <laughs> uh, mind telling us who you are? We're in a meeting, so we'd appreciate if you could return some other time. Oh, I'm afraid I can't do that. He's my customer. I'd be out some um, I'd be out some business if he were to go die on me. So I'd like you to let him go. Ooh. Customer, wait, you're telling me you put him up to this? He's been a real pain in the ass, you know. I thought it was weird this limb dick would try pulling a stunt like that. I wish you hadn't encouraged him. He's gonna be our only personal ATM for a long time. Your personal ATM, huh? Let me ask you, why are you this in this business? What kind of dumb question is that? What else but the money, same as you. Flipping other people's money to make more money. Funny thing, I actually hate this business. It's the people who need money to turn their lives around. Where money, where money's their only hope. That's who I'm in this for. That's why I do what I do. <laughs> well, how noble. I don't give a flipping fuck about your dipshit dreams. Oh. Your little speech gives me the creeps. Don't worry though, we're gonna make you beg for forgiveness and then we're posting that shit all over the internet. Get him! Bus. You alright? Akiyama-san? So how did it feel, staring death in the face? It was so scary, I thought I was about to lose it. <laughs> I'm surprised. Good going though, you passed my test with flying colors. <laughs> I did it. I consulted a lawyer. He got me off the hook with those loan sharks. From now on, I'm your customer. Thank you so much for taking me on. Happy to help. Of course, you still have a mountain of depth. You'll have to work it off. Yes, of course. Would you please accept this? I know it may seem odd coming from a borrow, but... Angler's Hook. This hook has once was once used by a legendary angler. Wearing it's supposed to increase the odds of catching fish. Ooh, nice. <laughs> sure, thanks. I have to get to work. See you around. It'll be okay, I think. You think, Akiyama? Really? You think? One, two, three, four. Yordi, I have ashes. Yay! What exactly are we going to do with these ashes again? <clears throat> you gave us the eye, didn't you? Get down on all fours and beg for forgiveness. Wait, we did no such thing. We weren't looking at you whatsoever. Mm -hmm. The fuck is that? Tokyo Tonk? Ugh, your accent makes me want to yak. 
But we did. Uh, we ain't giving you no dirty luck. Look, you little shit. You dissing the Osaka dialect? No, we. Yo, mind if I cut in? The fuck do you want? Keep your nose out of where it don't belong. Please help us. These guys start harassing us for no reason. They're totally ruining our field trip. What do you mean harassing? You shut your mouth, bitch. Easy there, tiger. They're just a couple of high school kids. How about letting them go, eh? Shut up. I told you to keep out of this. They're on my face, lol. Nice. Facial ashes! Woo! Beep, boop, boop. Uh, sorry, maybe that sounds a little bit, uh... Not at all nice. So, Lizzie, how is work? Is it still very busy? Or is it uh, more chill? Dude, too freaking tough. Guy really knows how to fight. Please, man, forgive us. Toughness scene. ZZ. Yeah, yeah. Poo poo. Thank you very much. Yeah, you saved us. For some reason, Osaka dialect makes guys like that way scarier. That's it. Yo, I saw you lay the smackdown on those guys. You're really something, you know that? Huh? Who are you, eat? I'm Hida, yo. I'm a dancer. What was that funky footwork you were flipping out there? I don't know how I'm supposed to answer that. Not many guys can hop around like you. You're like some kind of spring-heeled demon that told me everything I need to know. Yeah? And what's that? Your true identity. What else? You're a dancer, ain't you? And damn good one, too. <laughs> Hardly. I'm nothing like that. Don't play dumb, yo. You don't need footwork like that just to kick fools around in the street, no way. Why do I attract these weirdos? From the way, from the looks of you, you ain't from around here. Don't tell me you came all the way to Sotenbori without planning to take me on, yo. Well, I don't even know who you are, so... I told you, man, I'm Hide, the dancer. You got memory problems or something? No, I remember that, but that's not the point. Okay, word. Yeah, I'm still a rising star, but it won't be long before I'm a household name. You can't call yourself a dancer that breathes right by me like it's nothing, yo. Sure, pal, whatever you say. Look, I have to get going. Yo, you're running away? Forget that, I challenge you to a duel. Duel dance battle. If you win, you'll be known far and wide as the man who beat Hide. I think I can live without that title. But if you run, you'll be forever branded the chicken who ran away from Hide. You wanna live with that, yo? Keep telling you, I'm not a dancer. You're saying you're cool with being a chicken? <laughs> God damn it. Mm. Dancing Akiyama. I didn't say that, yo. Oh yeah? Then that means you're taking me on. I don't like to lose, plus... I've been watching Hakura dance a lot lately, huh? too. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Alright, no backing down now. Let's dance. Haha, <laughs> I knew I was right about you. Let's get it on, yo. Dance battle, baby! Dance battle with Akiyama. Okay. Oh, well, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh, he does the same fucking thing? Okay, bro. Exhilarate! 
high pressure. Bones help with them. Ah, oh, that was amazing, yo. You wiped the dance floor with me. <laughs> well, I managed to pull it off, but dancing is seriously hard work. I have to give up smoking if I want to do this for a living. I definitely gained some newfound respect for Haruka-chan. Your footwork is out of this world. I was right about you, yo. I, like I promised, you can now officially call yourself the man who beat Hide. Uh, no thanks. Uh, one title I won't be using. <laughs> That's one title I won't be using. Sup, Story King. Okay, next is... Hey there, friend. Come on over and have a look at our shop. Got a... Appliances by the trunk load going for shockly cheap prices. App appliances, app app applica. Uh, fucking hell, I can't. You say, what do you got? Whatever, what we've got, he asks. Why, we have everything except what we don't. <laughs> got me there. Sure, I'll take a look around. How about the flat screen TV? The picture is amazing. You can see the pores on the extras' faces. This latest model is going for just 200,000 yen. 200,000, huh? Guess the office could use a TV. For just 10,000 more, I'll throw in a three-year extended warranty. Make it 20,000 and I'll stretch the warranty to full 10 years. Do you deliver? We most certainly do. For just 30,000 yen, I'll drive it there myself right now. Now, will that be cash or credit or payment plan? Yeah. Hold it right there, savvy shopper, huh? What do you want, lady? Keep your nose out of our business. Mister, you're from Tokyo, ain't you? Don't go shopping at a place like this with your wallet hanging open. You almost got robbed blind. Oh, now what the hell, lady? Stop spouting nonsense. You're killing my sales. A TV these days won't set you back 20,000. Uh, 200,000. It's plenty to be had for a lot less. I can't bear to watch someone get fleeched like this. Come on, we're going. Uh, okay. <laughs> Nice lady. So, uh, you saved me? You're about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. I couldn't bear to watch. You don't know the first thing about shopping in Sotenbori, do you? It's different from shopping anywhere else. If I didn't step in and take you under my wing, you, uh, you would've brought at that sh You would've bought at that shop asking price. That's just plain oh. wrong. Shopping in Sotenbori is a battle against the shop. Everyone here haggles. In fact, you'd be crazy not to. Really? A battle, huh? That's right. I'll tell you what. This old hag's gonna be your guardian angel and teach you how to shop in South and Bori. How about it? Yes, please. Sounds interesting. Yes, please. Good. No one better you to learn you how. Okay. Here's what you do. Here's 10,000 yen. I want you to take this and do a little shopping for me. I need an electric toothbrush, a leopard, leopard print skirt, and a pair of red high heels. Huh? I'm doing your shopping. Right, but only after I teach you the fine arts of haggling in Sotenbori. We'll start with the basics. Alright, the first rule in haggling is praise your foe. Successful negotiations means winning the hearts and minds of your opponent. Sub, so she's gonna charge us. Maybe. And don't praise the merchandise. It's the same as with women. Don't let them know you're interested. Right, makes sense. Rule number two, never name your price. Let your opponent reveal their hand first. Hmm... The rule applies to a lot more than just haggling. I've got a hand to you, Osaka ladies. You're pretty tough customers, no pun intended. The third and final rule, respect the merchandise. Merchants usually take great pride in their wares, after all. Saying something old or scruffed to knock down the price, that's big no-no. Haggling in a way that hurts the merchant's pride is an ugly thing. A fight in which both sides respect each other's worth and ends with a handshake. That's the perfect way to haggle. You do well to remember that. And there you have it. The three rules of the Osaka-style haggling. You get all that, rookie? Yeah, loud and clear. Right then. Go get the items I've requested, and remember, 10,000 yen or less. Before you go off to battle, you want to hear my rules for haggling again? Hell no, because I have the guide right here. Good, that's the spirit. Remember, if you don't get 30% off each thing, You'll be over budget. Now get out of there and show them what you can do.
Got three things to buy, an electronic toothbrush, a leopard print skirt, and a pair of red high heels. Charges 200,000. Oh, we cheat and we cheat and listen, I need to do this game and I need to complete it. I'm having a guide open for every single little thing so that I cannot miss anything. <clears throat> we'll start with the toothbrush. Hey, it's my friend from before and ah, uh, not the old battle axe too. Oh, you won't have to worry about me, as if, but okay, whatever. You're back for your flat screen, are you? Very well, take a look. Let's put the Tafia aside for now. Do you have any electric toothbrushes? We sure do. This one comes recommended. Get the best for just 6,300. Take 30% off and I have to try for 4,410 yen. That's a pretty tall order. Open fire. Yikes. What? What she said? Oh, uh, yeah, don't mind her. Mm. <laughs> nice shop you got here. You know, this store, it's got a unique charm. Not like those big appliances stores. It has a real sense of welcoming to it. That's just it. With a place like ours, it's important to be a good neighbor. A good member of uh, the local community. It can be easy for you, but it really speaks to your shop status around town. Ah, now here's a man who understands. You know, I like you. If I could... I just give it to you as a gift. You're pretty likable yourself. Maybe a part of the shop's charm comes from you, huh? My friend, I dare say you got the best of me. I'll drop right down to 5,000 yen targets for 410. Just a little more. Mm -mm. You're a pretty generous guy. Are we hitting on him? Technically, yes, so that he lowers the price on everything. <laughs> you say that, but we still don't have a deal, do we? You're a sly one, friend. I'm almost, I'm almost there. Just need one last nudge. Though I do feel kind of bad for taking advantage of your generosity. Okay then, 450. How about a grab? A half-ass figure, don't you think? What do you say we cut the loose charge? Right out. Mm, Alright, buddy. I surrender. 4,000 yen it is. Deal. The nose, thank you kindly. So, I got well over 30% discount. Look good. Next up is the Leopard print skirt. You already did it. Yeah, I did it. Hello, hello, welcome. Anything I can help you find? Leopard print skirt, actually. Ah, you have good taste. I have just a thing in your size. Oh, it's not for me. Oh, <laughs> I'm only joking. Just a little poke in the ribs, you silly man. It's not like he has a guide or something. <laughs> Shh. Compliment me more, Lizzie. Compliment me more. Compliment me on how good I am at actually reading from this guide. Leopard skirt. Uh, I do have one. It's 3,000 yen. Will that be alright? 30% mm, off. 2,100. Pardon me, but were you an actress? Huh? What kind of question is that? You think laying on the sweet talk will get you a better price? No, not at all. It's just, you're so timelessly beautiful. I nearly forgot I was out shopping. Oh, you. I bet you're saying that everywhere you go and breaking all the girls' hearts. You lady killer, you. I wish that would work in real life. <laughs> oh, you're a good one. All right. Okay, then I'll drop the price down to 2700 Oh, stop it. Don't look at me that way. Oh, you naughty boy. 2,500 then. <laughs> Target this. 2,100. She can. Can she take another nudge? Mm. Your selection here is brilliant. <laughs> it does. <laughs> you know, this Leopard Prince skirt is one thing, but really, your whole collection here is brilliant. Definitely a cut above the rest. Mm, you can tell. That's quite an eye for quality you have. Makes me happy and proud to hear that. For such a discarding eye, I guess I can give you a break. How's 220? <laughs> Sounds like a half-baked number. Just begging to be bargained with. Well, let's say we lower to a nice 2,000. Done. That'll be 2,000 yen then. I'll even throw in some candy for you. You've got yourself a deal. It does. No, I, I think if I actually said that to someone, I'd get slapped in the face, Lizzie. <laughs> Okay, got the price under 2,000 yen target. 
This gives me a great shot at clearing the last test, the red high heels. Try it. No, I don't feel like trying it, actually. <laughs> hey, how are you, mister? You happen by the right time. You're going out of business sale um, right now. How about a pair of red high heels? Uh, let me see. Yes, yes, we got some. This is a gift for a lady friend or something. Well, actually, it's more like an errand for my mom. <laughs> okay, well, their retail price at 15,000 yen, but I'll let them go for 4,200. Whoa. That's quite the price cut. Forget about quality. We're all about the lowest price. Admirable of you. Your honesty is impressive. Take 30% off and 2,940 yen as my target. Still, it's going to be uh, tough to bargain him down when it's this cheap to begin with. Has the shop been here for a long time? Try it, slap shorty. Of course Lizzie slaps me. Lizzie will slap me at every moment she gets the chance. We started right after the war, so we'll well over a half century now, but I'm leaning towards shutting it down for good. Yeah? You said you're holding uh, going out of business still, isn't that right? Well, closing sales has been going for the last 10 years, but that's more to show our customers we're serious about serving them. We're not worried about being a healthy money-making business anymore. Our prices are pretty much cost. Definitely seems that way. To be much room for negotiation. Mm. You're an exemplary merchant. Well, yeah. Gotta head into you. You're an ex exemplary merchant. I bet I could learn a lot from you. You don't say. Well, there's no need to stand around and listen to an old man reminisce. You young folk have people to see. Things to do and whatnot. Hmm? No, as a businessman myself, hearing your story is actually quite educational. That's so. Warms my heart hearing that. Seems these days no one has time for this old man. Tell you what, I'll give you a break on the price. How's 2,000 yen sound you? We'll go down that far in one jump. He already gone way past 30%. What should I do? I'll take them. I'll be 2,000 yen. Appreciate your business. He gave me a bigger deal than I hoped for. I bought everything under the 10,000 yen, too. You done well, dear. To be honest, I didn't think you had it in you. I had a good teacher. It was real education, to say the least. <laughs> And thanks for doing my shopping. Truth be told, none of the shops around here deal with me anymore. I've haggled them all down too much. <laughs> so thanks to you, I got my shopping done with a nice deep discount. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying you use me to get a discount? <laughs> Come now. Why the long face? Here, maybe this will cheer you up. Fitness gear. She used us. Of course she did. Never forget to hone your haggling skills. Sarabada! Fucking clever. Oh, Akiyama-san. I'm just checking on ha on that Nanako Kodama-chan I sent you her way. How is she working out? She's been fantastic from the get-go. I've never seen a girl so eager to work. But enthusiasm isn't enough to win your requests from clients, is it? The world doesn't really work like that. All our girls are celebrities. That's our selling point, the chance to meet stars. In terms of looks, our hosts are unbeatable. But the girls have their pride too. They see themselves as stars, so why serve drinks as hostesses? I can see that. They're only working here because their agencies make them. Well, their pride gets in the way of business. You can't expect them to deliver friendly service with the, uh, an attitude like that. It's nice to meet stars, but the service quality is disappointing for the price. That's what you get for hiring real hostesses. That's where Nanako-chan's different. She's incredibly friendly and cor courageous. Nothing like you'd expect from some snotty idol. She's been both humble and hardworking. Our guests get to know her, and next thing you know, they're lining up at the door. She's really raking in the business, you don't say. 
Sounds like she might make number one. I'll go back to the office and wait for good news. Are we actually going back to the office right now? Bitch. Nakiyama-san, hey, welcome back. I did it. I had the highest sales today. Sounds like it. I got a call from the club's manager. You think? Did I change your opinion of me? <laughs> I guess you have. Okay, on to the next one. Huh? I'm not done? Of course not. Nobody said anything about that being the only test. 300 million yen is a lot of money. I can't hand over for doing just one simple task. Okay, I'll do it. What do you want me to do next? Let's see. Go collect a loan. I'll have you collect a loan. Just stop by and get the money for me. Oh, an errand? Sure, no problem. The client is Murata Trading in the Shofuku Sotenbori building. Show them these papers and they'll get the picture. Got it. Leave. I'll leave right now. 300 million. Here I come. Success takes risk, huh? Let's see if she really means that. Better check on her at the Shofuku Sotenbori building. I don't fucking know where that is. Shofuku Sotenbori building. Where the fuck is that? This place... Akiyama, you can't... Like, you can't have people come in here for business when this place looks like shit, yo. Get someone to clean it, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna save real quick, actually. I don't wanna... Get wrecked again because my game decides to crash. Yeah, no. Okay. Okay, where exactly is that? Okay, it's over there. That's well, fine. We can do some other quests in the meantime. And work on a bit of the... Oh, Timmy Mattia! <laughs> Assholes. Drunk asshole. What do you mean, drunk asshole? You're the one that's trying to engage battle with me. I'm just being a nice guy here, running around. <laughs> Stop grabbing me. That's more like it. Iron play. Sakurai Hung. Can I interest you in some Okonomiyaki? No fooling, they're really good. I have to admit, it does smell great. But uh, aren't all Okonomiyaki from stalls pretty much the yeah. same? Hey now, those are fighting words. No, we keep it real. We take the time to get things right. From score sourcing the flour to the final prep. 
It's not right heartbreaking to hear you lumping us all together with the usual street mm -hmm. fare. Is that right? Well, let's see you back up your claim. I'll try one. Thank you. I'll grill one fresh up and hot. Hang in tight. Here you go. Thanks. Best served hot, right? Mm -hmm. Weren't kidding. This is good. This stuff puts restaurants to shame. Absolutely, I'm confident in what I sell. Only trouble is that lots over there has been taking all my business. I'm really hurting here. Hi, come on over. Fresh Okonomiyaki to go right here. There's a charming pair over there. They're Yakuza goons who run things around here. Whenever we get customers, they cause trouble to scare them off. Classic. Hmm. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yo. Yasu, what up? Got yourself a customer? Nice going. Business being little... Business been a little slow lately, huh? What's it to you? Are Okonomiyaki's better than the crap you serve in? Ain't no wonder customers choose us over you. You can talk the talk. I'll give you that. But hey, Yasuo, wrap your head around this. What happens if rumors start spreading? Drop money at Yasuo's place and a couple of scary folks kick your ass. Don't you dare. The customers ain't got nothing to do with this. They got everything to do with this, dipshit. Folks who can appreciate good food need to be shown the error in their ways. Slap him, that's the plan. See, pal, we got no personal axe to grind with you, but we gotta thump you. Just good business, you know? No hard feelings. Haha, <laughs> that's some business model you got there. You don't actually believe that, do you? You're a man of reason, I like that. But this is our territory, so we make the rules. Whatever we do, that's just to see. So let's get this over with, pal. Remember, if you want to thank someone, you got see for your bumps and bruises, you can thank Yasuo. People are real assholes in uh, this in these games sometimes, right? Just beat up a just beat up a guy for uh, terrorizing purely so that you can get to uh... <sighs> Thankfully, we are Akiyama, and we do not negotiate with terrorists. Ow, fuck, ow, who the hell are you? You're a monster. Sorry to this point, but I'm just a passing customer. And I see you fellows are so committed to your job, but learn to pick your fights better, alright? This ain't over. Sorry about that. I shouldn't be causing a scene in front of your place. Oh, no problem at all. That was a heck of a display. Say, what do you call that style of yours? You kick those goons around like they were sacks of rice. Hiko! Thank you for the resub, my dude. Penis? That's true, I have a penis in my pants. <laughs> How are you doing, dude? Oh yeah, might have gotten a little carried away. No, you were awesome. You really inspired me. If it were me putting on acrobatic spectacles like that, people come for miles around to see what I'm cooking. Mister, what's your name? Huh? I'm Akiyama. Akiyama-han? Just you watch. I'm gonna be the Akiyama-han of the Okonomi Haki world. I've already got the flower down. All I need now is a show-stopping performance that'll capture the hearts and minds of the customers. Alright, I better start training. Akiyama-han, you gotta come try my Okiyomi and my Okonomiyaki again sometime. Don't quite get how, but it seems like I really lit a fire under the guy. Surprising? I'm good. Just a bit tired after work and failed at making my own character sheet. Wait, how can you fail at making your own character sheet? Can't you just, like, redo it? There's no failing. There's only trying again. But I'm glad you're doing good, Hiko. Even if you're tired. Okay, we can't actually do the revelation yet, so we'll come back in a bit. Well, no, I literally wanted to make one with my own design. Yeah, there might be an issue with me not understanding, and I just can't find the right program to use. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, uh, let's start with suicidal shooting. This time, I and three of my students will try and shoot you. You'll pass if you defeat us all. 
I don't get a gun this time, so it's four armed opponents against me barehanded. What, do you want to, do you have a problem with that? Listen, those replica guns really hurt, and this time, I'm the only one in the receiving end of said Peyton. You big baby, if you're scared of a little pain, what are you going to do when you're seriously wounded in battle? You do realize this is Japan and not some war-torn country, right? Stop fooling yourself, life itself is a battlefield! I should have figured you'd say that. I better quit while I'm ahead. Fine, let's do this. Okay, this this is one of the reasons why I brought a shit ton of healing items for these trainings. Daijiro Saigo. Oh wait, I'm already out of stamina, that's great. I need to do a battle here with the mystery syringe. <laughs> Just kick him out when he's down, right? myself the PDF of Pathfinder and been reading up on cursive strad well you literally for phase one <laughs> you and used guns yeah, that's why I need to kick his ass right Fucking dumb shit, bro. fair to kick him while he's down. <laughs> Gotta kick everyone. Okay, you pass. Watching you reminds me of that one time. I stole the enemy's new mobile weaponized suit and won the battle up in the stratosphere. Sounds like sci-fi movie, but if you have access to the sort of weapons, why even bother with training? So what did you learn this time? When you're surrounded and your enemy is unloading on you, your only chance is to quickly exploit the gap in your enemy's defenses. You learned counter kick. Even the most skilled enemies have vulner are vulnerable just as they begin to an attack. Never fail to take advantage of that. Okay, at least we got our uh, fucking kick. Yeah, aren't you going to go see your wife and daughter now that you're back in Japan? You said before that you can't go home, but why not? You can't stop fixating on matters that have nothing to do with your mission, can you? 
It's just, you used to talk about your daughter like she was everything to you. Talking about one's family is almost a taboo on the battlefield, but I didn't return to the Middle East just to polish my skills. Well, you're being unusually serious. Mercenaries like me end up learning things, things that may would rather keep hidden. May, me would rather keep, well, I fucking can't read, probably. And being a mercen and being mercenaries, once the war is over, we're about as useful as a car without wheels. In short, we're expendable, but we also have top secret information that stays with us as we return to our home countries. See how that's a problem. As a mercenary field commander, I was no exception. I was privy to top secret info relating to the nation that hired me, and they didn't consider conf uh, Confidentiality until the war was over. But then my former employer started worrying about damaging secrets getting out. Are you saying exactly? I didn't feel safe here and decided to leave the country for a while. I see. You left because you don't want to get your family involved. I can't go into details as that would put you at risk too. And needless to say, let's keep this between you and me. Understood? Relax. We money lenders are quite discreet. It's part of doing business. I'll take your word on that. Now, enough idle talk. You are dismissed. Okay, let's attempt the the next one where I need to run after him while I get grenades thrown at my ass. <clears throat> True suicidal running. All right, true suicidal running it is. This is one like the previous suicidal run exercise in that you'll chase me through the streets of Sotombori, catch me, and you pass. The only thing difference is I won't hold back this time. You were holding back, so what? You'll be running faster this time? No, I'll lob grenades at you while you chase me. <laughs> you'll lob what at me? You know, grenades, hand grenades. I know you civvies aren't too familiar with the mercenaries' tools of trade. No, I know exactly what a grenade is. It just, I mean, we're still in Japan, right? <laughs> Don't be a smartass. Besides, the battlefield is wherever you make it. Like before, my students will direct traffic. However, they'll also be lobbing grenades at you, too. So watch out. They'll be coming from all directions, huh? You are one devious bastard. Hats off to you. Respect for your superior officer is a given. But flattery won't get you promoted. I'm more than happy to remain in the private. Well, are you ready? Yeah. At least I hope so. Fucking asshole. Except this time, I'll be lo doing grenades at you. Ow, that actually fucking hurt, bro. How the hell? Absolutely trash. Yeah, I don't think I can do this one yet. Maybe I can. I really need to take a fucking burn on that, don't I? If I see one throwing, I just need to like completely bill. Oh shit, he threw twice? Oh, that was rude. Okay. I think I can do this. Oh yeah, start watching Critical Role. You can't even legally get a grenade in the States without being part of the military. How did he get some? <laughs> He's a mercenary. You are dismissed. Fuck you. This time I can do it, 100%. I know exactly how this works now. Critical bullocks. Uh, 
I don't think I'd find Critical Role really entertaining. Still got hit. That was rude. Game. Real psycho. Akiyama, where the fuck are you going, bud? Damn, that was absolutely trash. Got him. Nice. Good job, Yordi. I had a good DM. I mean, I've never done Dungeons and Dragons, so it's not like I and gonna make any sense to me. I went to DM for my German friends, and at first it does seem like quite the daunting task. Makes sense. I learned how to step forward with my left leg while my right leg was still off the ground. That would mean you were floating in midair like a ninja. Wait, is that a ninja thing or not? So, what did you learn this time? With all those grenades you made me dodge, it felt li so light on my feet. The lightest ever. Launch Strike Plus. If you don't give your enemy an opportunity to counterattack, it's more effective than hardening your defenses. Remember that every time you go into battle, dismiss. No, wait, what? Something wrong? I think we're being launched. Man... You're just being paranoid. We were just talking about clandestine spy stuff, after all. No, I feel an ominous stare on me. I have felt this many times right before Sniper opens fire. Sniper? What? So you dragged me into? Quiet. Listen to me carefully. When I give the signal, spring back and hide in the shadows. Three, two, one, now. Wow. Whoa, you weren't kidding. What the hell is going on here? He should be okay for now. Once the sniper loses the element of surprise, he usually backs off until the next time. I'll have to take your word for that. It didn't take them long to discover that I was back in Japan. You mean the people you were talking about? The ones who want to keep you quiet? That's the most likely scenario, and the worst possible one too. If they figure out I know they're after me, they might go after my family to roll me out. Are we talking about a hostage situation here? This is bad. Can't warn my family either, because that'll reveal their location. I have to put an end to it myself. Sorry, Akiyama. I didn't mean to drag you into all of this. Truth be told, I never expected anything involving you to take such a serious turn. But this is no laughing matter. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Appreciate that. You be careful now, okay? As for me, I'll avoid making any big moves for now. Better to assess the situation first. Well, dismissed. Okay, let me actually get my health back up. And then we go to the next training session. I do want to know what this fucking uh, training launch strike plus does. Increase the number of times launch strike can be performed. Oh, interesting. Get counter attack at least. Even though that doesn't really work on this guy. Last training. Pick your poison. True suicidal combat. Now they're gonna throw grenades while we are fighting. All right, true suicidal combat it is. In this exercise, we'll battle each other one on one. Defeat me, and you pass. You won't be holding back this. Uh, won't be holding back this time. Naturally, I'll be using a machine gun again. Don't see anything natural. I don't see anything natural about it. But I guess complaining won't change anything. My students will back me up by lobbing grenades at you from outside the combat zone. 
Nothing you could say faces me anymore. Besides, you're just likely to be blown to bits as me. Think again, Akiyama-kun. I'll be wearing the latest cutting-edge ballistic armor. I can keep on fighting without worrying about grenade explosions. Hey, no fair. Relax, gunfire and explosives are only for training purposes. They may leave a mark and hurt like hell, but they won't kill you. You're always so reassuring in your own special way. But fine, whatever. I'm used to it by now. Are you ready? Yeah, okay, so the technique is pretty much the same. Just knock his hat off, kick his ass, try not to get blown to shit by grenades. Thankfully, I can heal this time around. It's kind of rude that I can't use my new technique on this guy. Use my technique there, but I wasn't paying attention, obviously. I like Viva La Dirt League D&D because they are noobs and you can see DM struggle. Also that DM Robert Hartley is doing behind the scenes streams where he talks about prep and thought process. Pretty interesting. I highly recommend checking out Arcadem. He is Canadian DM. You pass! Watching you reminds me of that one time. I returned home despondent after my war buddy died in action only to learn it was a prank. That was a terrible prank. I mean, you were soldiers, not fret boys. So what did you learn this time? Even when things get chaotic, I need to keep looking for a chance to land a big blow. You learned final drive climax heat. You don't get many chances to quickly finish off your enemy. Whether, you're, whether or not you can spot those chances will decide the tide of battle. Remember that every time you go into battle, roger that. By the way, happens after the sniper incident. I haven't learned anything more since then, and they don't seem to be watching me anymore. Hmm? Who are you? I must commend you, Daijiro Saigo. Few have ever been in my sights and lived to tell of it. There's a sniper who shot him. Shun Akiyama, owner of Sky Finance, uh, I presume. You've obviously done your homework. I don't know how much Saigo has told you, but everyone who knows what he knows must be eliminated. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's take this down a notch. I'm guessing that's not a toy gun, right? Enough. Akiyama doesn't know a thing. Doesn't matter. Now that he knows about me, I can't let him live. Just calm down and lower your weapon, okay? We can talk it over like civilized people. Besides, how could I possibly benefit from telling anyone about you? You're just wasting your breath. Once we have a target, we never fail to take him out. Not a single one has ever escaped. Enough talk. I'm putting you both in the ground. Well, already watched tons of advice, and the campaign books of Curse of Strad makes DMing quite easy. Mm -hmm. Ronakiyama, you must live. This can't be happening. It's a bad dream, right? Tell my family. Tell them it put a good fight till the bitter end. Saigo-san, come on, Saigo-san. Come on, this isn't funny. 
You're supposed to go first, but no matter, you won't escape. You'll meet Saigo in hell. Shut up, what? You won't get away with this. I'm not about to give this up so easily. Not even saigo san gave his life for... Not after saigo san gave his life for me. Well, now, do you think you stand a chance against me? You may have had mel a military fetish and was always saying and doing strange things, but Sun was a good man. He was working hard to teach young people about risk management. And most of all, he treasured his family. I should I care about any of that? You could say the same thing. What does any of this have to do with me? I'm not letting you kill me. You're going to pay for what you did to saigo san And cut. Oh yeah. I'm going to cut loose. Wait, cut? You mean cut. <laughs> what do you mean cut? That was a great scene. You get all that? That was an award-winning performance master. It almost moved me to tears. Well, all right, then that's a wrap. We'll celebrate with some drinks tonight. Um, excuse me, would you... Would someone explain to me what's going on here? You gave an amazing performance too, Akiyama-kun. I'm talking Best Supporting Actor nomination. I, what? I still don't get it. <laughs> Whatever, listen up, psycho son. Listen carefully. I have absolutely no idea what's going on here, none whatsoever. I just saw you get shot to death, but now you're standing in front of me perfectly fine. Of course I am. That was a replica gun. And the sniper, one of my students. And the guy who shouted cut, another one of my students, a member of my film crew to be exact. What, what film crew? Great question. They're helping me create a promotional video for my organization. It's part of a series I'm calling Daijiro Saigo's Life on the Battlefield. Are you telling me this was all fake? Part of some awful action movie. Fake? Awful? Do you have the problem with the script I wrote Akiyama-kun? <laughs> I went through a lot of trouble to do this. I mean, I even got this hairpiece. That's why you're wearing a hairpiece? Wait, so how long were you filming? I'm not sure what was real anymore. The video starts with my student rushing to help me as I collapse. My last ounce of energy spent on the battlefield. All the way back that far. You only collapsed because you were hungry. With a few edits, that scene will really shine. Right. How's the editing coming along on the climax scene we just shot? We have a rock cut ready. akiyama sans line is killer too, here. Saigo san Saigo was a good man. He was working hard to teach young people about risk management. Wait a second. You cut the part where I call him a strange guy with military fetish. That was epic, Akiyama-kun. You delivered that line like you were on some big budget TV show. <laughs> Whatever. I'm too tired to argue. Hey, don't be like that. I'll send you a copy once we're done. Gee, thanks. But I must say, I was really moved by how angry you got when you saw me die. It's going to be tough living up to all that stuff you said. Tough for you. You know how embarrassed I feel right now? Listen, this video is just a way to promote my work. My core mission is teaching young people about the importance of risk management. It's what I'm devoting my life to. I hope I'll live up to your expectations in that department. I'm impressed, psycho son. But you're not off the hook either. You too must devote yourself to training hard every day. And I'll be waiting here anytime you need to brush up. Haha, <laughs> should have figured my training doesn't end here. Still, you give good advice, Saigo son. I'll take it to heart. <laughs> yeah, do, do take it to heart. Fucking hell, bro. Did you get that? Yep, you give good advice, Saigo son. Oh, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers, bro. These guys are assholes. <laughs> Damn, the chat went suddenly very fast. What did I miss? Uh, something about, I think the hardest part is making game co coherent and fun for players with bending the luck rules and stuff. Flexibility is supposed to be in clue. I would like to do D&D, but I'm getting unlucky with crews and DM Sedge. Since I'm a noob, I want to have someone DMing for me. I totally saw Sep as a DM from the way he talks. I would be great DM. Sometimes in another life, maybe. BRB, take your time, Sep. Get that. You could be DM. Fireball, you will die at the end. <laughs> Didn't even roll. You make your roll. <laughs> Rolling for luck. <laughs> God damn it, you guys. <clears throat> okay, cool. And this one final drive, launch an enemy into the air, then triangle. So 
Okay, let's fight these uh, fuckers here real quick. But my character is immortal. Damn. Oh, I didn't have. Let's see what was stamina. Oh. Let's use this one. Meteor strike. Or did I just disappear? Nice. Just grab a knife, bitch. Is most likely mortal. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's hilarious. Is there still someone that wants to fight? I need to try the syringe thing, okay? Oi, oi, fat person. Stinky face, come on. Oh, I might actually. This might actually not work. Ah, oh, bullocks. still using that. Out of fear. Yay, Lizzie's almost free! Almost freedom! Go home and nap. <laughs> Lizzie's gonna go home and nap. Poor Lizzie, gotta work even more. Oh. Get a nice fat paycheck. Two at the same time, or something. 
2倍はちょっと無理ですって嘘そやボケ<笑>黙ってやれんがはいはい皆さんこれからこっちでもっとごつい技やりますね<笑>おりやれやは,はい With same time. Mother Yaki, him, Muga, eh? Mother Musa, the Bucket, it's your Eger Moyaria. Fucking assholes. Eger, eh? Send not to one of the most of you. Here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Get mine next week. Mm -hmm. Hope this time nothing goes wrong. I hope so too for you, Hiko. That's how you already cooks. That's not how I cook. Double juggle. Okay. Since enemy into the air, then near another. Anyone uh, that wants to fight me? Oh, so come on, my eh. Get the koi kuna de o. Ah, oh, crap. Still on the street. Because I can't get to the syringe again. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Okay. Trying too hard. Damn, why can I not hit it? Try hard. Gotta try harder. Well, still a few more things left to do. Fight this guy. Street bugs. Anything I can use? Okay, that's the two that I wanted to do. And they basically fuck up twice. Uh, they basically fucked up twice at our main center. They pay you twice. Where they at first accidentally deleted my files and then they didn't send me the money because they were too incompetent to calculate how much they owe me. What the fuck? Yeah, we got one man taking care of everything over here. Basically, I got sick in the first months of being employed, and according to the German law, the healthcare provi 
there has to pay if you get sick in that time. Well, okay, interesting. Hello, I'm here to collect your loan. Now, if you wouldn't mind paying up, hmm? and who are you? Akiyama-san from Sky Finance has sent me. He's set to show you these. Finances? <laughs> Saying what we agreed on. I ain't paying shit. Hmm? Barred on the promise of no interest, and now he's telling me he wants immediate repayment with interest? Guy can go fuck himself, but that has nothing to do with me. Is that what those papers say? Yeah, heard me. I ain't paying. Not a single yen. Now, get out of my office. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I have to collect that loan from you. Eh? You got something in your ears, lady? I said I ain't paying! And I damn well meant it. Hit the road. No, I'm not leaving. What was that? I'm sick and tired of doing what other people want. I want to be a star on my own terms. Besides, if you hurt me, you're going to be in big trouble. Akiyama-san knows I came here. If anything were to happen to me, he'd go straight to the police. Shh. Right, you win. I'll pay your money. Bye, Lizzie. Talk to you later. So they weren't able to freaking send me 700 they owed me. But luckily, the office in our store got behind it and got me paid in cash. Nice. Chill, Hiko. Here, no scram. Thank you very much. Bye. Uh, Man, what a piece of work. Good job. Hey, you saw all that? You're really letting me off the hook for that loan you gave me? I tried scaring that girly like you told me to. Didn't actually have to succeed though, right? Right, that was perfect. That was in that bundle you handed her. A sack of losing lottery tickets. <laughs> Got it. Nice ad lip. That little babe turned around and threatened me. She's sharper and gutsier than she lets on. I'd have to agree. Better get back to the office. Time to run to the office. Oh, there you are. You kept me waiting long enough. Sorry, sorry. Step out for a quick errand. I collected your loan like you wanted. Good job. Okay then, what should I have you do next? Next? I'm not done yet? If you pass my test, I'll loan you the money. Really? Oh, Alright, fine. Do whatever you want. I admire your commitment. Should I assign her? Put that body to work. Yeah. Might be tough for a pinup idol, but sometimes dreams don't come true unless you give it everything you have, you know? You can always say no, but that of course means you fail the test. If it were my agency asking me this of me, I would never accept. Since it's of my free will, I can do it. I will do it, <laughs> if you say so. Where do you want me to go? Head on over to Sotenbori Street. I'll let them know you're coming, so they'll approach you when you get there. Okay, 100 million, I'm going to give everything I've got. Okay, let's see how well Miss Little, uh, well, this little Miss Innocent fares. It's finally over, my knees, my back, all my joints feel like they're made out of rubber. Welcome back. You look a little winded there. Are you going to be alright? You said it was a job using my body, but you never said anything about <laughs> working on the construction site. Oh, I didn't? Well, anyhow, cheer up. You succeeded. You passed the test. Yay! Alright, next test. Huh? How many <laughs> more hoops do I have to jump through? <laughs> Just one. Really? This is the final test, so listen closely. Change your stage name. Pardon me? Nanako Kodama's done. You continue your career under a new name. But I... What's the matter? All you need to do is change your name. Shouldn't be a problem. Well, yes, but... I need an answer. You either change your name or fail the test. You have 10 seconds. 3, 2, 1, and 0. Time's up, you fail. You're awful. You gave me an impossible test knowing I'd never accept it, didn't you? Makes it impossible. It's not that difficult. If I stop being Nanako Kodama, it would be just like giving into my agency and changing my persona like they asked. That's completely unacceptable. I have to stay true to myself, and that includes keeping my name. 
Akiyama-san, I played along this whole time, but all you've done is toy with me. You were never actually going to loan me the money, were you? Are you done making excuses? I'm not making excuses. Besides, those were really strange tests, and it was all completely meaningless, wasn't it? How would you know if any of it was meaningless or not? In fact, the final test told me exactly what I needed to know. It's impossible for you to go independent and start your own agency. You just wasted your time. How dare you? What could you possibly learn about me from those silly tests? I learned quite a lot, actually. I wanted to see if you could swallow your pride and work hard as a hostess, compete against younger girls from your agency. I had to see if you had the courage to not back down in the face of danger and the smarts to achieve what you set out to do. And I, put, I also needed to know if you're physically capable of pursuing your dream, even when pushed to the absolute limit. The three tests I gave you were all to see if you had the power to make your dream come true. Make my dream come true? Well, I passed your test didn't I? Shouldn't I have it then? And if that's the case, what was that final test? Why do I have to change my name? Power is one thing, will is another. I needed to see just how far you were willing to go for your dream. The final test confirmed your dream isn't as precious as you making it out to be. You're just unhappy with your agency. Am I wrong? Well... Power and will, they are equally important. Without one or the other, you're guaranteed to fail. There was another woman like you before. She also came to me for a loan of 300 million yen. It was going to make power... It was going to take power and will for her to realize her dream. Mire Park had them both. You mean from Dynachair? Yeah. A year and a half ago, she came to me for a loan to make her dream come true, just like you. And I assigned her the same three tests I gave you. She passed them all without a single word of complaint. Even though she's a former pop star, it couldn't have been easy to work as a hostess among girls half her age. But that didn't stop her. She proved she could do it. What about the final test? Was it the same as the one you gave me? Parkson's final test? I told her to get out of the production business once her current project had ended. Yeah. That would mean her story would have ended the same way, out of the business, whether her project succeeded or not. It's not the same. Parkson turned her next chance into her last. It helped strengthen her resolve to make her dream come true. It proved she was committed to making that girl's girl a star. Wait, do you mean that girl on the Princess League? Rather than her very livelihood as an agency president, Mary Park chose to make her dream come true, if just for a moment. Once I saw that she had both the power and the will to realize her dream, I happily gave her the loan. I see. Your feelings towards your fans are real. Your desire to make it as a star is authentic too. Do you have what it takes to succeed? Then why? Because your dream itself, your desire to go independent, was a lie. Oh. You came to me because you were unhappy with your agency. Isn't that right? Yes. You were angry with your agency for not understanding you. You rebelled against their orders to change who you are. You took those negative emotions and sugarcoated them with the convenience guise of a dream to fool yourself. Real dreams stem from something more positive, don't you think? Akiyama-san. Nanako-chan. My manager, what are you doing here? Been looking everywhere for you. I had to ask all over town and finally tracked you down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I told you to make a change without considering your feelings. I didn't know how much I'd hurt you. But I want you to know that the agency hasn't given up on you. On the contrary, we think you can shine even brighter. I'm kicking myself for not properly taking this matter up with you and discussing your career together. It's my fault too. I was acting totally selfish in spite of all the support I was giving over the years. It's thanks to the agency that I even became an idol and with fans who support me no less. I somehow convinced myself that it was all about me. Um, sorry. I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused. No. No, the fault is all mine. Please forgive me. Heh. <laughs> See? They really do appreciate you. If you ask me, you've got a pretty good agency behind you. Like I said, you have what it takes to succeed. You're right. It's time to stop running away from reality. Um, Akiyama-san? Hmm? I know I put you through a lot of trouble, but could you please forget about my loan? Sure. That's fine. On one condition. Don't do anything half-heartedly anymore, deal? I'll be rooting for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir! Thank you for everything. I didn't do anything worth thanking. I just did my job. Literally. It's his fucking job. Ooh, well, that's that. 
And I'll be damned, I really didn't do anything this time, well, except maybe blow through more money. At this rate, it's going to be quite a while before the Sotenbori branch gets back on track. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, Akiyama, fucking dummy. Okay, let's see. How many quests have we done? This should be 10, technically. Um, yeah, Shun Akiyama, 10. So, the last one that we're gonna do is on the other side of town. Did I still need to do something? Yeah, there's another action that I can do. Heat action. Not that they are, like, very necessary to do right now. Eventually I need to do all of them, but not right now. 14 of the 19, barehanded. 19 of the 32. 10 of the 16. 46, climax heat. Still have one. Uh, you guys still have two, uh, one, it's fine. Let's go heal up with food. What should I get? Arigato gozaimashita. that? I just got served by an old lady? <laughs> Idiot. I've seen kids dance better than you. Your fundamental stink. You call yourself a dancer? That's a not right lie. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Damn it. Okay, Sonny. Pay up. Come on. Thousand yen. Fine, I'll pay. I'll pay. <laughs> and that's why I'm not about to give up on dance battles anytime soon. There's more money to be made here than at the pachinko parlor. Old lady put money on the dance battle. Huh something you don't see every day so anyone else want to take me on got plenty of dancing left in me lay down your bets just a thousand yen for a dance off with yours truly okay. mm -hmm. you're a dancer too kind of old for that ain't you <laughs> you're telling me <laughs> not a bad face though you remind me of my husband when he was a lot younger so what can i do for you want to square off are you sure you're going to be all right dancing's pretty train is, don't you think? Fa, that ain't nothing for you to concern yourself with. I was a prima ballerina with a company in Europe when I was younger. Don't assume I'm just some run-of-the-mill granny. Whoa, you're a former, former prima ballerina? That's a... Time sure can be cruel, huh? Hey, a joker, are you? I like you. Come on, join me for a dance battle. Well, I have seen Haruka dance, so I suppose I might be able to hold my own. Sure, you're on. Good answer. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> 
よしよフーク、チョウ。I'm in shock, my goodness gracious me. You got some smooth moves for a man your age. Maybe, but you're really one to talk. Tell me though, you're not actually a dancer, are you? The way you move leads me to believe you're an amateur though, through and through. Oh, is that obvious? I guess there's no fooling a prima ballerina. It's like you say, I'm no、yeah. dancer. Well, it's truly astonishing a man with no formal training dancing so well. The way you use your feet, especially. I know pros that can't even do the things you do. Alright, l Sonny, you win this one. I've been dancing for over half a century, and if an amateur dances that well against me, I can't, in good consciousness, give myself the win. That's why this round's yours, s o n n y Here, take your thousand yen. That was watching you dance was almost like seeing my late husband dance again. You made me remember the old coot. That's quite an honor. Of course, the old coot was a little better looking than you, no offense. See ya! None taken. Oh,、uh, what a bunch of bollocks. Yakuza. Yamaha's moves so splendidly. Well, that's it. Save the game. Ah,、uh, that is a good time to call it quits for the night. Ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you all had fun. Oh.、Uh, I'm pretty sure we almost did all the optional stuff. <sighs> For、um, Akiyama and Haruka, at least in this chapter, we're gonna have to do Tatsumi with Akiyama still, and with finish off Tatsumi with Haruka. Then there are a few more side quests left in the last chapter.、Uh, for both Akiyama and Haruka. And then we can finish off their part of the story, and we'll be heading to a new character.、Uh, yeah, I'm personally looking forward a lot to the story because <laughs> all this side stuff is really slow, and I really want to know what's gonna happen next. Who killed Park?、Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. Hope you all sleep well, sweet dreams, and until next time, a good night.